Hello? Hello? Yeah, man. Hey, hey, wake up, whoa, man. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Is is this costing me any money? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, it cost you any money. If anything, no, you're it's... over there in, in Yugoslavia. You know, it gets really expensive over there. <laughs> if anything, it's costing me money. Damn oh, fool, but no, true. man, you all right? You, well, like you have money to pay for anything. Yeah, I'm call, calling calling you for money. What's I have that? Plenty of money. Oh. I have your money. Plenty of money. <laughs> like I say, it's costing me money. But we'll call hey. it the bottomless pit of money. <laughs> How you doing, man? You holding things down over there in the Spill Studios? I ain't holding a goddamn thing down because you guys don't pay me shit to hold nothing down. Okay, so, Bus- business as usual, other, just as I other thought. Other than that, yes, exactly, <laughs> business as usual. A lot of, lot of uh, porno and a lot of comic book reading. That's about it. That's so, about all I got here, Corey. All right? So in other words, I better hear up and get back because we might not have a studio anymore. Joe has running things no, over no, there. No, you can stay there as long as you want. No, I'm having tons of fun over here with all my... <laughs> Whores. <laughs> yeah. well, I wish you could be here, man. There's plenty of whores uh, where I am. As uh, that's pe- what I hear. Yeah, that's what I hear. Go, go ahead. No, go ahead. It's people. I, we- I heard you. I heard, man. You, first you tell me go ahead, then you start talking. <laughs> yeah, well, let me go ahead and explain to people what's happening here. We might have a little discrepancy because I am calling not from Amsterdam, as many people might think I am, but I am calling from Croatia right now. Croatia. How in the hell did you get there? Isn't there a war going on there? What the hell? Nah, man. I had, I'm an uh, international man of mystery. I'm like the black James Bond. I got, I'm got. i all around the world, man, taking care of things. Well, you got you got the black part down. I don't know about the James Bond <laughs> part. <laughs> uh, I, I thought you were going as the, the black wonder bread over there, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, you got me I saw, rolling. I saw man. your little, uh, I saw your funny little video animation there. You got there, animation. Oh, for uh, for the Amsterdam <laughs> the trip, yeah. yeah. For the Amsterdam trip, yeah. Well, man, nice, let me tell uh, you something. Nice video there. Oh, thank you, thank you, man. We we are worldwide. I uh, came to Amsterdam to for for the spill party, as people uh, might have heard about, and that's already happened. It went down a couple of nights ago, and it was successful. We had a lot of members who came out from different parts of the country. We had people from Poland. We had people coming from uh, 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 some people from London came over. We had some people from yeah. Oxford. We had people from Iraq, Eurasia, all kinds. You know, Iraq? What the hell? <laughs> no, I, I'm making up stuff now. But we had a lot Wait of – it, it was very international what we had going on. Really? Huh. Uh, Did Bin Laden show up too? I think, uh, man, you, you want to know what you could have had Osama Bin Laden. I don't know why we didn't call Barack Obama, man. Yeah, been, Osama Bin Laden came out of hiding for the party. It was crazy, shit, man. Huh? Yeah. He <laughs> took off his turban and went, went, went to town. <laughs> got crazy. No, he brought turbans for everybody. He brought turbans, oh, and, and, he, turbans and beards, man. Yeah, no, you. No shit. Oh man, Osama bin Laden knows how to party, boy. But I, I, hey, I know people say Al Qaeda's kind of bad, but you know that night he let it go. Did he bring his uh, googly-eyed, springy glasses? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the spring, eye, spring eyeball glasses? I don't know if they make those anymore. The party favors. Oh, with the crazy eyes. And <laughs> oh, the ones where you put them on the eyeballs or on a spring and they fall down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember know how those. Humor you can get out of that, but yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't need no fake googly eyes. Our eyes were googly enough looking at these prostitutes out there. <laughs> uh, man, people, welcome to Let's Do This. By the way, a uh, very international yes. special. Let's do this. I am calling from a hotel in Croatia. Now my my uh, a- internet was working funny up in my room, and it was down for a little while, so I had to come downstairs and use a special room that they have here, and which is w- which is why it might sound like there's a delay because. Uh, like uh, I, we're, we're calling over Skype, so we might have to uh, be careful how we talk over each other. But uh, we'll do the best we can. I, look, it's over here where I am. Like it's almost five in the morning. Oh, you, yeah. yeah, and I'm trying to sit up here and stay on schedule for all these spill people out there. So I'm doing. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm doing my hey, best. Don't, hey, don't tell me your problems. <laughs> Come on, man. How do I gotta tell you this? Every goddamn day, it seems like even when you're not here. I woke up. I woke up this morning, uh, you know, and the first thing I said, Corey, don't be telling me you problems." I know I wasn't even there. You, 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 you just, uh-huh. you just, just had a, just, just had a dream about me. You wake up. Don't tell me your problems. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people. Uh, I was, I was gonna try to start off the show with a, a funny bit. Uh, I was gonna go live from the Spill Studios, at, uh, wherever the hell we live. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I was like, eh, it'd probably be kind of lame. But yeah, I, I'm glad you didn't. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of, couple of, yeah, a couple of guys on Skype. Yeah, we'll yeah. <laughs> a, a couple of bad jokes. But yeah. man, I uh, yeah, being here in uh in, in Croatia, man, I came over because we had all these people come to the Amsterdam party, which we'll talk about because I t- I've talked about this a couple of times. I've talked about it on a podcast we haven't even put up yet, but I talked wow. about it on a couple of cold ones. But I know that there are some people who don't listen to everything. So I'll probably uh, uh, do, I'll, I'll repeat some of the things that, that I went through with you. And then uh, we have some members here in Croatia and they were like, you know, Corey, we couldn't make it in a little, little country like Croatia is hard for us to get around. I mean, it, that, you, you know, we, we, we out here on a, <laughs> well, it's hard for them to get around. Yeah. I'm just making this up. I'm making them sound like a third world country. You know, we, we're, we're out here. Tending what, is, what, what, are, what are they hot rodding on camels or something? What's exactly. You know, <laughs> uh, mother that needs me to milk the goats. I can't go yet. Uh, we have to go. We have to go chop down the tree to make wheels. Yes. Yeah, so the father <laughs> that needs me in the field to, to, to pick potatoes. No, it uh, ain't that. <laughs> no, it ain't that bad. But somebody... <laughs> <laughs> we make fuel with potato. Yes. Use <laughs> water and bubble gum for lubricants. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a full moon and we must fight off the wolf man. The, the werewolves attack tonight. No, it's uh, a... <laughs> it's vampire season. We can't leave yet. No, so we I have say... a horrible problem with gypsies and werewolves. <laughs> and Jews. <laughs> Big problems. This is the <laughs> night the Jews turn into werewolves and vampires. We must stay home to protect our families. No, we, no, man. <laughs> we need Obama's help. <laughs> That's right. They thought I was Obama, so they asked me to come over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need Obama power. No, they, Not uh. Not Obama, the black wonder, wonder. The black wonder, wonder, wonder. Black, black, who? <laughs> black face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they. I think they want me to come over here to like to 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 be friends with me. Instead, they want me to come over for entertainment. <laughs> Look, we have the <laughs> the real blackface. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I figured they mistake you for you have for like like an alien <laughs> or something. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is this? <laughs> Man, it, let me. I came here because you. There's some members who couldn't make it to the party from Croatia, yeah. and I said, well, you know what? I've been uh wanting to come to this uh, this 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 wonderful city that they have here, the capital called Zagreb, for a while. And so I said, if I can make an easy trip over there, I will. It, it, pe- people over here in Europe take their travel for granted, man. It's like they going like two hours down the street is like making a, a cross country trip for us. Going two hours down the road for them is like us trying to travel from like uh, uh, New York to L.A. So they don't yeah. they take it for granted over there. But I mean, oh, over here where I am now. But I'm like, OK, so it's that easy to get to Croatia from Amsterdam. I'll, I'll go. So I you went ahead. No, I took a uh, I took a, no, I took a plane. Oh, you took a plane. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's an easy flight, man. It's like an hour and 15 minute flight to get to. I remember, well, I remember taking a uh, train from London. Uh, where were we? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from Paris <laughs> over to London. Yeah. The, the two hours, two hours for <coughs> bullet train. Oh yeah, no. They it's easy to get around here, man. A lot of people take that for granted. All these countries are very close to each other. At least for for Americans uh, over here, they're like you know two hours. Oh shit, that's traveling across the universe. But we're like shit, that's nothing for us. My sister lives in Houston, which is three hours away from me. You know, do you know how many times I took that trip? Shit, one time I went yeah. to Houston. Drove there to see my sister. Drove all the way back to Austin, three hours, and then I realized I left my cell phone and drove back. <laughs> Went to go get my <laughs> cell phone and came came back. You know, walked to the house like I left my keys out in the car. Oh shit, I forgot my cell phone. I better go back to Houston. <laughs> so it's funny because I, I took a trip to uh, San Marcos. That's usually about what thirty minutes or so. Yeah. And uh, that trip that trip took me a whole five hours, and that's a. Uh, that's because I did a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went to San Marcos not, in your mind. That's what happened. It's not, not good to do that kind of stuff and, and have to drive back home. So. <laughs> well, then you might not want to uh, go to Amsterdam because there's a lot of uh, drugs and everything else there. Now, kids, I heard. Yeah, kids. I heard. We, I actually, what's that? I actually got an email. I actually got an email that I need to read to you later. Uh because uh, someone someone emailed me concerned about what you were doing over there. <laughs> oh man, was it Ghost Rider? 
I'll read it to you later. No, it's some uh, some somebody who uh, I can't remember right now, but uh, no, nobody too familiar. But uh, yeah, they 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 sent me an email and they were very concerned about you. <laughs> so, no, hey, don't worry actually, about the old black wonder here. I'm doing just okay. fine. I don't need no help. Okay. Here, let me see here. Uh, well, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll get, yeah, let's go ahead and get around to that in a little, in a little while. Uh, cause we're gonna, right. Yeah, we're going to get the show started. People, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I guess we're going to talk about my trip so far because it's late. And I'm not, I don't, it's not because I want to brag about my trip. I just don't know what else to talk about. I, felt, I was asleep before I got on here, like right before I came on with you. In yeah, fact, you I, did. Yeah, that's why I was late because it, it's almost 5 in the morning. I, was, I, I, I laid my head down because I was on the bed like uh, taking the equipment out to make sure I had everything. And I just said, well, I'm just going to lay down for just about a minute. It was like 15 minutes later when I woke up. Like I dozed off of sleep. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to talk about because I didn't really get anything prepared. But uh, once again, Corey, don't tell me you got them. No, problems. here we go, man. <laughs> but let's get uh, on with the show. Let's do this, Corey. Yeah, yeah, we're going to. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about some. Uh, now I don't know how it's going to be with you and I being in two different locations, but we're going to try to talk about some videos that I that I've seen, especially one that I meant to get to last week that I think is going to be funny for you. Mm-hmm. Um, are we going to talk about some things that happened when I left? That's in the news, man. It, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Something crazy. I mean, it's kind of old news with people, but I just want to comment on it because it's like, God damn, I leave the country and, and this happens. Oh, so, I think I know. I, I think I know one of the things you're talking about. Yeah, you you probably do. We'll see how well we yeah. think alike. And then, <laughs> and then, if that's not enough, we'll mm-hmm. even read a few emails. Uh, like you said, you have one right there too. Yeah, I have a few of them actually. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll 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 uh, look through them. Actually, I've already looked through quite a few, and uh, they're not that much better from last week. So, <laughs> but uh, I'll do my best. I don't. I don't want to piss you off, Corey. I know you. You got very little sleep, and you just turn into fucking uh, the the Incredible Hulk when you uh, when you read half of these. Well, let, but, man, let, uh, let me just I'll, say I'll do this. What I can. I'll do what I can to to, to move the show the show along. That's let me what, let me just say this. If we have any emails that says, "What is your favorite?" Skip over that shit. What <laughs> is your favorite? Uh, so you know that we talking, we making fun of Croatians talking about werewolves and vampires. <clears throat> we have what? to read. If we have it's to read one, your favorite one, color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite? Yeah. Man, if you do that, you they gonna have a wild black man running through Croatia because I'm gonna lose my mind if you do that. They even did that last week. When we had a couple of cold ones because you know Car- Carlisle always like says. Uh, well, hey, you know I don't like reading these general emails. I'd be goddamn. He didn't read one that was like. <laughs> Guys, what is your favorite uh, so and so? I was like, I'm by fuck. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind on these people right here. <laughs> uh, but so let's let's just see how the show goes, people. And we can guarantee you. Now we always say this, but we can guarantee that this is probably not going to be one of those uh, three hour shows. It's right. just not going to happen. So sorry. Yeah, it's, I got to go to bed. I mean, my time clock is throwing the fuck off right now. So Corey needs his beauty sleep. Beauty and plenty sleep. of it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Done got ugly these past few years because I, I ain't sleeping too well. <laughs> so not that I wasn't ugly before, but uh, that damn. Let's, ugly tree ran away from your ass. <laughs> you know how people said, yeah, you get hit with an ugly stick? Shit, somebody picked up a couple of ugly trees and hit me on both sides of my goddamn head. But man, okay. So now that since I'm in a since I'm in a a, a room, and uh, God, somebody's trying to call me. So you get on Skype, and somebody keeps trying to call. Hold on, well, let me. Find the fuck. I swear to get out. You know what? I was just thinking about this today. Um, about how many calls you get when we're doing our show. And I don't think that ever happens on any, anybody else's show except ours. I don't know how we're plagued with that, but it's crazy. Well, I know that, and I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. But right now, I'm it's like very unprofessional, man. Well, I'm thinking it's five in the morning. Who the fuck is calling like at exactly. five in the morning? Yeah, uh, uh, and, and I'm thinking, you know what? This is this is like a curse. <laughs> it's like what the mean... fuck we should be calling you at five in the morning. I was like, somebody either better be fucking dead, or it better be Megan Fox on the other <laughs> line saying, "Look." I need to get fucked right now, today, <laughs> pronto, now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, black underbred ass over oh, here. Quick. If, if Megan Fox <laughs> called for that, that will be a two-minute show. I'd be like, hey, uh, excuse me, I, uh, hold on. I, I wouldn't even tell you I'm gone. I'd be like, uh, hold on, co-host, and you wouldn't see me yeah. again. You'd be sitting up there waiting on me. <laughs> no, no, no. You'd hear a fucking shotgun blast on the other end of this line. <laughs> That'd be the end of me. I would fucking blow my fucking robot head off. I, man, there are people who are on who are online. Now I don't know how the fuck they do it, 
but they are uh-huh. online every time I get on Skype. Every fucking time I get on, it could be any time. Yeah. They get on the first thing, like, hi. And I'm like, you know, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a show right now, yeah, damn it. God damn you. But, okay, uh, people, uh, I, oh, that's where I, that's where I was. I'm, a, I'm in a room here, so I can't scream, let's do this, like right. we usually do. So I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. But uh, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to like put some extra energy in there for me. Okay. All, All right. right. I'll do it. All, All right. right. Okay, people. I so, can do this. Uh, I got my ass out of bed. I've, mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm sacrificing sleep and time to do this show for you. So you know I'm ready. I, I, I'm ready. Okay. Well, the, hey. Is Skype ready? Is Skype ready? <laughs> Are you ready, Skype? <laughs> Yes, Skype is ready. Shit, there's a, not only is Skype ready, but apparently there's a lot of spill members who don't ever go to fucking sleep that are ready. So they're they're ready. Uh, they're ready. You're ready. We told you what the show is about. Everybody should be ready. So, uh, co-host, I'm ready. You ready? Uh, let, oh, 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 wait, wait. Oh, God. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think they want me to get out this room because I'm talking too loud. Hold on. Goatsy. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is going on with this man? Who? How does this is goat, goat hanging out over there? This goat, oh, man. Wait. This goat is beginning he, to scare me. This goat follows me wherever I'm. And look at this. He's got a little Croatian girl milking him right now. Oh my god! <laughs> well, take plenty of pictures. <laughs> I mean, at least, hey, little girl, those ain't others. Get off of that! He, what the hell, you oh, nasty no, thing? Girl. Oh my god! I think Ghosty Goatsy uh, uh, followed me in Amsterdam, picked up one of these hookers on his way here. Yeah. Be <laughs> careful was... taking pictures of that because I yeah. think there's, a, there's two different kinds of laws you're breaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Goatsy's getting milked in a different way. Hey, all right, so Goatsy, you mm-hmm. follow me here. You must be ready. I'm ready. Co-host, oh, are you I'm ready? ready? Okay, you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. All right, let's, let's do this. Yeah. 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 Goatsy, not so loud, man. People gonna come in here thinking this is going to a wild party. Look, oh, look, all oh, the hotel managers are already coming in. Oh, man, I'm stuck. They dragging Goatsy off by his horns. Oh, I'm sorry, Goatsy. Yeah! 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 Yeah, you, damn, you make it sound like they getting ready to blow up something over here. It's not that kind of country, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. That was wild. That was wild. All right. Well, well, what the hell, Corey? What the hell have you been up to, man? Did you get any action, satisfaction? Eh? Man, come eh? on now. Come on. Now, that's what everybody's thinking. Everybody's like wondering, well, did you get Of course, did... that's what everyone's thinking. That's all you ever talked about, goddammit. Come on. Did you get a hooker? I mean, I don't think I wasn't tempted, man. Over there in Amsterdam, I keep telling people, and I've mentioned this so many times, so if you heard already, either, either deal with it or go somewhere else. But over <laughs> deal with it <laughs> over in amsterdam man they it is just like they say they got uh hookers in the window for your pleasure i mean just a dime a dozen a just, dime a dozen i hear it is incredible man it because i can understand like all right they got all these girls in the window just for you to pick anytime you want to as long as you have 50 euros on you which the dollar is weak so that's probably like about 80 80 dollars uh 80 to 100 dollars but uh roughly but Man, that the girls are out there just hanging out in the window for your mm-hmm. for your taking as long as you got the money and they and they are hot. And I'm thinking, okay, looking at this stuff on TV, mm-hmm. uh it's a little exaggerated. Like you get the one girl that's hot or two and they cost a lot of money. You know, that's uh-huh. the that's the premium girl. You know, that's the girl that you get uh for like uh 200 bucks, 300 bucks. Mhm. So that sounds that sounds but, about the same as here though. But no, see it's not the same because it's not like that. Every mm-hmm. almost every girl is fucking hot, man. Oh, really? Like like model hot, right? Oh, I, I'm wondering like how hard is it to live in this country that hot girls like this gotta go to to to, to be prostitutes? Because if you mm-hmm. lived in America, baby, you know it'd be somebody ready to take a picture of you and put you in a magazine. And I'm talking about <laughs> nice, clean magazine. We ain't talking about doing no nasty stuff. I'm talking about putting you like at least in a serious catalog and letting you model uh, skirts and bras. You know what I mean? <laughs> It is crazy. Is it? Yeah. Well, did you take any pictures? No, no. You you wouldn't see me again if I took a picture. You bet I take a picture. <laughs> I told like I was telling Carlisle, or maybe I was telling Noah, like you go ahead and take a picture if you want to. Those is gonna be some big guy that's gonna come out and bring you in a window and fuck you in front of everybody. 
Oh, really? <laughs> so they're, they're pretty strict about not taking pictures At down least there? that's what I heard. I mean, everybody has sense enough not to go around taking pictures. You just don't do it. These girls are, and, you know, they're professionals. I mean, you might disagree with what they do, but they are professionals. These girls, <laughs> professionals. They, it, it is a professional. Professional sitting in front of a window? <laughs> professional sitting in front of a window and fucking your head off if you pay for it. No, they, they, no, these girls are professional. They, they, it's, okay, you know how beauticians, how they work, what they do is they have their, they, they have their credentials, uh, then mm -hmm. they go and they rent a spot uh, at, a, at, a, at, at, at a salon. They have that chair that they rent. So mm -hmm. these girls, they have a room, a window that they rent, and, <laughs> and that's their place of business. So mm -hmm. they, they work for themselves. I mean, they, they, they are professionals. And mm -hmm. so you, they, the, the, you go in there, and the, thing, the only thing that they have that uh, is protecting them, because they don't have pimps, you know. They got these houses that right. they work in. And they have a panic button, so you can go in there and fuck around if you want to, and mm -hmm. yeah, then so some dude's gonna come out of there and take care of you real nice. All right, so so if I go over there and uh, I I whoop out my my fake uh, penis and, and try to uh, wash the window with it, uh, there's there's a, a good chance that a uh, big motherfucker's come it's gonna come out and fuck me up. Okay, now you see how you talking about. Uh, bringing a fake penis and you're gonna rub mm -hmm. it up against the window. See, your fake penis will be confiscated. Now, if I, if I tried to do that, my real penis would be confiscated. I wouldn't get it back. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I just tell the guy, hey, I'm washing the windows, man. You should pay my yeah. ass. Yeah, I'm the I window can't washer. See this broad. Yeah, I can't see her. Hey, she's working. I'm working. It's my job to wash the windows. You know, I, this window's dirtier than she hey, is. I have no hands. I have to use my penis. Please, come on. Yeah. I'm Pina. working here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been proven, scientifically proven, proven that windows are cleaner when you wash them with your penis. Excuse yeah. me, sir. How, how unprofessional of you to lay yeah. your hands on me while I'm trying to wash the window. Yeah. Let me let me oxy clean them with yeah. a couple of squirts. <laughs> with the, the the pure white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nah, it, it, it now the late la the later it gets, they they start pulling out the the B team, the C team, the D team. You know, that's, uh -huh. it's going uh -huh. it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna see like your mom in the window at some so point. He gets <laughs> downgraded it, as the night goes on. <laughs> Yeah. Spill members, any, any spill members end up in the window? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I saw Cyrus with a wig in one of those. <laughs> does, it, does it look like Travis Pickle's picture? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that it's a, fucking nightmare of a picture. <laughs> and it's funny, you know, how, it's funny how people, they, they, we talk about the big guys, so they have to come out and take care of the customers if you get out of line. Yeah. <laughs> like Cyrus is sitting up there reading a comic book, and you see a big guy, get back to work, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! I would pay money. To see, I would pay money just to see that. I would see. I would pay money just to see Cyrus get fucking berated by a fucking bouncer. Back to work, you fucking comic book reading motherfucker. Boy, you better be sucking lots of dicks tonight. You look like reading those comic books. Yeah. They're not for free, you know. Yeah, Cyrus got a. He got a, a a habit to feed, man. You know, people usually got problems like crack and meth and and all kind of drugs. He's, he's got a comic book fetish to feed, man. It's going to take a lot of dick sucking yeah. to get all those comic books you want. <laughs> they get them funny books. <laughs> Could you imagine Cyrus in there with a wig on dancing in front of the window? Oh, I can imagine Cyrus in anything. <laughs> I can imagine him in a donkey suit. <laughs> <laughs> in a goddamn, goddamn booster outfit. <laughs> but, man, we were joking now, and I'm serious about this. Uh, now we've seen okay oh, oh oh it's time for a segment of uh leon bashing <laughs> oh shit uh oh what did he do <laughs> we it, okay now these are people get this man these are people who are in uh in in amsterdam people who mm -hmm. who have not been to america but, mm -hmm. but uh just know us by the by by the by the the podcast that we do and by the the website and there were people over there talking mm -hmm. talking shit about Leon, talking about, yes, if we let Leon out here, we never see Leon again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, if Leon swallowed him up. <laughs> yeah. If Leon loved the strip club, his head explode here. And I'm like, whoa, you know, these people know. <laughs> Gonna see Leon on a, on a goddamn carton of milk <laughs> <laughs> with a smile on his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kept. I told them that uh, Leon would be uh, in front of the, the, those windows where the girls are, with a dollar in his hand, just banging his head against the, the glass, <laughs> trying to get this dollar to him. 
<laughs> it was like Leon would be Leon would be an official fucking window cleaner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They wouldn't get his ass away. I mean, is Leon? Because if you've seen Leon at the strip club, when he he gets yeah. in a trance when he's in front of those girls on the pole, here, oh, yeah. make, he'd be there twenty four hours, man, trying to give that dollar to that girl. Like Leon, she's not a stripper, you know. <laughs> punk, yeah. punk, and punk. and his dumb ass would be trying to give her an American dollar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like fifty cents. That's what he does. It's, it's like Use, using cents. anything, using coupons. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, he used his uh, Chuck E. Cheese coupons. God damn, Leon's <laughs> over here trying to get a lap dance from a prostitute <laughs> with with a with a coupon for a can of cream corn. Can you believe? It? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, hey, hey, this ain't no food drive, motherfucker. <laughs> I know. Hey, you, you can see the chick even up there trying to press the panic button to get Leon away. Even the bouncer's like, "Nah, this is too funny. We want to see how long this motherfucker's gonna be here. <laughs> let's see, let's see where this goes." <laughs> <laughs> you see that strip? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You see that prostitute getting off of work? <laughs> Leon's still at the glass. <laughs> you, know, you know in zombie movies how the zombies beat on the glass try, trying to get yeah. through? Yeah, yeah, that's Leon trying yeah. to get through that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> but, but uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, late, late at night, I mean, you... They start bringing out uh, in the windows. They start bringing out girls that are, and I don't look this. And I imagine they do this because there's girls for for it, for all types of guys. Like there's all kind of guys out there who wants a variety of girls. So mm-hmm. that's when they start bringing out the girls who are a little chubby, and that's when they bring yeah. out the the women who are a little bit older. And like yeah. I said, that's that, that's probably not something that everybody wants. So they keep them out of the way during the day or during prime hours. But there's guys who want that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I saw somebody's grandma sitting up there on a walker trying to dance in front of those windows, and somebody was waiting in line for it. <laughs> Damn, they got chicks with dicks. That's Cyrus's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I think they got all that, man. They got and, and if and, and if let's just say you want to you you, you want to be dirty, but you don't want to go that far. They got of course the live sex shows that happen. Okay, now I I know a couple of guys who went to uh, went to. Uh, uh, some of the live sex shows, uh, and they both told me it's like the worst thing you ever want to do. Uh, one of my buddies was like, if you ever want to imagine your parents having sex, uh, the one that he went to, that's exactly what his experience was like. He's like, whatever you do, it may sound it may sound somewhat cool and interesting, but don't fuck and do it. Don't ever do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't plan to uh, because it, it costs too much money in the first place. Yeah, how much? How much do they charge for that? Uh, I think they charge more than a, more than it costs to get a hooker. They charge, think, no I think, shit. seventy-five euros to go see the sex show, and y- you're thinking Damn. to yourself, that's almost twice as much as it costs to get a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, what, what am I? What am I paying to be the main attraction? Yeah, exactly. Who's gonna I, be watching am me? I gonna, am I gonna give? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, always the one. Yeah. Am I gonna be the main attraction? Yeah, they're gonna bring me out on stage. You know, I mean, that's what they should do. Cause we went to one place where there was, they had this thing where women stick things in their vaginas and do crazy stuff. When like they put a banana in there and you eat it out, and that costs thirty five euros to go into. I'm thinking. Why would I want to pay thirty five euros? Can, can I just have the banana? You know, <laughs> leave the girl yeah. off, leave the girl off of it. Who's this? Who's this chick? Think she is David Copperfield? <laughs> da- <laughs> the David Blaine, David Blaine of whores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why, the, why, the, why, why the hell do I want to eat my fruit out of a woman's vagina? I mean, really? Can I? Can it's you, good for yeah. you. It's healthy for you. Yeah. I t- tell you what. Once you take about thirty-four euros off of that, I'll take the banana for a euro, and I, we'll be happy. Yeah. And she, she'll be happy, and I'll be happy. But no, there's. Uh, so you're thinking to yourself, okay, to go see a live sex show. First of all, it just doesn't sound too tempting. I mean, if it was like cheaper, you, you'd be tempted to go because it'll be a story you could tell. Uh, your curiosity is satisfied, but. Right. To pay seventy five euros when there's hookers everywhere, you, you're mm-hmm. thinking to yourself automatically, okay, maybe I don't want to get a hooker, but just based on that price alone, I, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get a hooker because she's a bargain. <laughs> you know what I mean? They really <laughs> want you to have a hooker in Amsterdam, man. Times are tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Time to do some bargain shopping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's for some serious decision making. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Go see a nasty couple get fucked. And- and me fucked out of my money, or 
or really go get fucked by some hot chick in one of those windows. Mm. Yeah. Decisions, decisions, yeah. decisions. Mm, what should I do? <laughs> yeah, you're thinking to yourself, you, you're exactly right. You're thinking, do I want to go watch a couple who probably aren't that good looking have sex on stage for 75 yeah. euros? Or do I want to go to a really hot hooker and get mm-hmm. the action myself with nobody watching? It's like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to the, I'm gonna go with the hooker because when you think about it, mm, that's value, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm not, I'm not horny. I don't want a hooker. It's just, yeah. the, it's just yeah. the better value, it's, you know? Getting, getting the dick wet equals true value. <laughs> in, in these tough times, you must think that way. <laughs> <laughs> I got to think about number one, me. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, man. We, what about the girl? What about her? Yeah. I mean, they need money too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Corey, if I were you, I'd do the old uh, fish string trick of uh, you know getting your euros out and taping them to a to a fish line. So you know you pay the chicken money as soon as you leave the door. Oh, I just reel it in, brother. Just reel it in. in. Time for another hooker. And you Put know what's going. Hook- Put you, another hooker on the bar. Man. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you think you're going to have a hook on the other end of that because you think that trick will work. I'm going to throw out a, about a 50-euro 50, a 50 bill and see what, what happens on the other end. See if, a, see if I can get a hooker to, 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 yeah. for the, to, to follow the bait. And what you're going to get is one of those bouncers at the other end waiting on your ass. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's going to look like, a, hell is like this? a... It's going to look like a Benny Hill skit. <laughs> yeah. And they got a canal that people just fall into all the time. So I'm sure they would be yeah. more than willing to th- toss your ass in the water with the ducks. Oh, I'm sure they're worked up. I'm sure they're all worked up, ready to beat some ass. I mean, come on, man. You, you're you're hanging out all day with a bunch of hot chicks, and you're not getting any action. You actually have to work. And you see all these dopes coming in with their dopey-ass smiles, you know, and spending, spending all, their, all their goddamn money. I'm oh yeah, laid. these guys are just like motherfuckers. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's enough to make you mad. Yeah, he's up there with a heart on all day looking at this, and they're just like, nah, damn, yeah. you know, I'm sitting up here. I ain't got no money for doing this. Yeah. Shit. I can't even afford these hookers, and I'm working in this shit. <laughs> yeah. the, the worst case of blue balls in the history. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, it went out for you a hear- second. Oh okay, what my, my, my 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 Skype went out for a second. Uh, oh. Damn, boy! Look no, at don't you. worry, don't worry. We're here, we're here. No, it. Uh, you, no, you see, you, it's funny because you think working in a place like that, because you know when you work at a restaurant, you you at least get a discount on on lunch or dinner. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you, you get the employee discount, you know, half off. Mm-hmm. You, I, I wonder if these guys who are working these uh these these whore houses and these prostitute places, I wonder if they get a discount. Yeah, p- uh, pussy discount. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if they get, what if, you know, like, hey, you know, a little, uh, how about 20 euros and I get, you know, a little, little foot massage at least. I don't know, you know. Yeah. I'm pussy back rub. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> rub your vagina on my back, back of my neck, please. And yeah. yeah, most guys come out talking about smell my finger. You come out talking about smell my neck. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, kids. We don't mean to be so nasty, but hey, we, I, know, I, I'm I sorry. was just we, an We ad- had to talk about this, yeah. Yeah. And we're on Skype, so it's, it's a bit. I don't know. Yeah. It gets dirty on Skype for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> when you and I are face to face, it gets bad. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, hey, fuck it, whatever. I just, I'm, I just came from Amsterdam. What the hell? Exactly. So, so oh, but anyway, enough about the whores. Well, well uh, let me just say this one more thing about the whores. Yeah. Uh, as, as much as I'm joking, uh, the reason why you don't get a hooker is because after one day, really after one day, you get – you get desensitized to it and you get used to it. And there's so many things that you can do other than go to the red light district in Amsterdam. I don't want to make it sound like that. That's what kind of place it is. It, it yeah. is not. It's actually, a, it's a beautiful city, man. And you walk around and there's so much great architecture and there's so much great food. And it's just mm-hmm. that one strip of, of, of hookers and a few alleys right. that have like made people think like, Oh, Amsterdam is, <laughs> Amsterdam is this country oh, no. of uh, what's that? Oh no no, Amsterdam is is awesome. No, for a second I thought you were talking about the red light district when you were like, no, I don't want to seem like it's a terrible place. No, it's a beautiful place to hang out. You bring your family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, but the red light district, really? <laughs> Damn, place place is all fancy now. They they got a red lobster there now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the red light district is a great place to bring your family. It's like Disney World now. You, you, you know, yeah. You in, in fact, you know how they have those Mickey Mouse, those big people, those big costumes, those big. Cartoon mm-hmm. costumes like Mickey Mouse and, yeah. and, and Donald Duck. I mean, uh-huh. they got they got uh, people in big cartoon horror outfits walking around. You know, to, to, to make the children feel good, they hand out balloons and candy to the kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're 
handing out vibrator balloons, <laughs> <laughs> penis balloons, yeah. titty balloons. There you go. <laughs> Mommy, I want one of those. Big booby balloon. <laughs> yeah. Big booby balloon for me. <laughs> it's a wonderful place. <laughs> Whoreland. No, oh, it's no, it, horse. <laughs> no, the rest of the country, I mean the rest of the country, the rest of the city is, is beautiful, man. It's, it, there's a lot to see. It's just this one part of Amsterdam that's making it seem like Amsterdam is this this like I described it as uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean that's what yeah because I mentioned that Fox News is trying to make it look that way a lot and it's not like that at all, man. In, in fact, right. in the in the red light district, people are cool as shit. They got that under control. I always yeah. argue that things like uh, marijuana should be legalized and prostitution should be legalized because this country is a good example of how you you take the risk out of something that people are going to do anyway. People are going to go out and find sex if they have to pay for it no matter what, okay? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. a lot of times these girls are in danger because they got dangerous pimps. They they run the risk of disease and they don't right. they, they don't live they're not working in controlled environments where there's all kind of drug use that's happening and so the mm -hmm. disease is spread either from needles or from having sex with uh without the the, the, pr the proper conditions and mm -hmm. it, over there it's just it's it's no, very clean. It's man. a great, it's a great concept. It's just that you know we're st we're still a very young country and we haven't you know we haven't evolved you know as far as our thinking as far as you know hey that that kind of does make sense if if you're gonna if you want to get rid of half the crime yeah you know legalize prostitution legalize some drugs and uh, yeah you'll be better off. Yeah, you know? I'm telling you, man. This whole thing. I'm sorry if people think that I'm a bad influence on kids if, because I'm always talking about legalized marijuana, but. Over there, there's people who are smoking weed, rolling mm -hmm. up hash in windows, just cooling out like they're having a cup of coffee. And do they come out and go fucking nuts? No, they come out and they go about yeah. that day. Yeah, and the city's actually making some money, so. Yeah, I you mean, know. yeah. It goes bars. back into the community. There yeah. You go. <laughs> yeah, it does. There's nothing so, wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with it, man. It's, it's, it is insane how uptight people are about certain harmless things. I'm sorry. Like I said, people going to go out and get sex no matter what. There's worse ways right. to get it by raping somebody. So I'm sorry if you think I'm a nasty son of a bitch for saying prostitution should be legalized, but hey, it, people are going to do it. So yeah. But anyway, so, well, yeah. Why, why don't, why don't you make it uh nice and presentable? Like, I'm, like uh, the red light district does. <laughs> I, I'm trying my man. I am trying. I'm trying to bring now, as it As long back. as they don't put dudes in the window. Uh, yeah, I, th th that'll be fine. I don't want any guys in the window because guys can, I mean, shit. After after hanging out in New Orleans and seeing what half those guys do <laughs> <laughs> in New Orleans, you know, when that shit is illegal, that's scary. I can only imagine. Guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> well, they're crazy because they it ain't legalized. They're going nuts. Shit, they need yeah, that time they too. Don't they don't give a shit. Yeah, there's yeah, some guys are, out there looking are, for guys. They are not classy like women. I'll tell you that much. Well, I'll tell you, man, the reason why guys don't really need it is because guys, and I'm telling you, as, as, as a guy who has uh, gay friends, they they will mm -hmm. tell you gay the gay man will say hey look you know how it is with us yeah you know guys are horny all the time and guys <laughs> guys are gonna fuck each other uh no matter what if they're gay and they want it they they just say they it ain't none of that let's go to dinner let's have some four <laughs> yeah. plays like let's fuck and let's do it now yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't care who's and looking. You, and you yeah, and you know it, it. It would have to be only gay guys doing that because I I know at least it, it would just end up being comedy if uh, they let straight guys in these windows trying to pick up chicks. Oh, please <laughs> be, forget be about like it. Fucking, it'd be like the fucking zoo with a fucking bunch of monkeys going nuts. You, yeah, <laughs> you can be the most handsome guy in the world, but if you want those windows and you're straight and you're trying to get girls, you're gonna get laughed at. <laughs> it ain't yeah, happening. Exactly. It ain't happening. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the new comedy clubs. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. it's. It, gay guys, man, they'll tell you, hey, we we were ready to go. It's like it it, it makes you wish. Now, pe people always think I'm. Uh, th they make accusations of me being gay, and they think I'm gay. And look, I I can tell you, I'm not because I wish I was. Because it is so easy when you're a gay man. If you want to get laid, it, th they make it sound like it. Look, you might not get what you want that night, but it's yeah. you're not gonna have a hard time like you are trying. Like to try to get the ugliest girl sometimes is hard for a guy. And oh really? I, I wish I had that problem. Yeah, you do. Because you, well, you don't get nothing. That's why you don't get you don't have that problem. No, it's a uh, no. It's it. Guys are like you know. Even for you, you got to do work just to get 
a half ass uh, looking girl that you want. I mean, but for <laughs> us, it's like, hey, you have to you have to work to get ugly chicks' attention. <laughs> yeah, they, they they say, look, you you know how girls are kind of, and they should be. They're kind of they, they're kind of uh, wary about that thing. You know, they don't want to. Girls aren't there trying to throw themselves to any guy, even the ones who no, don't have that many prospects because it's dangerous. Yeah. But guys, come are on, like, ugly, I'm yeah. doing you a favor. <laughs> yeah, hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're wrong, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help you, okay? <laughs> exactly. Jesus I'm doing work Christ. for charity here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, they, but man, now they get have out of that wheelchair and let's have and, some sex. And let's go. <laughs> Jesus, how hard do you have to try for this? You know, I'm, there's, a, there's an ugly chick behind you just waiting. But man, I'll give you a real ride. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom. <Terrible. laughs> but, man, they, they have, uh, yeah, guys are talking about, like, yeah, for that work you put into for that, we might not get what we want that night, but we're going to get something if we want it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just how easy it is because guys are horny. You know, that's it. Uh, uh, there's a, yeah, there's <laughs> There's plenty of that in New Orleans uh, ah. during Southern decadence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but hey, I'm surprised you don't have guys because, like I said, guys need that thing too. But guys ain't gonna pay for it because it's too easy for them to get it. So yeah, I, I'm actually surprised uh, if there hasn't been any case where uh, somebody screamed uh, discrimination because they couldn't be a prostitute in a window. You know? Yeah. But uh, that's who, true. Who I wonder. That's a good point. Yeah, who who knows how they have that whole system down over yeah. there? So yeah, you ought yeah. to you ought to go investigate that. You ought, you ought to go back. <laughs> investigate fly back court and uh, report to me next oh, I, week. Oh, uh, I know, I know. I'm I'm, I'm getting the hook and I'm I'm like, oh, this is investigative reporting. This is journalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to find some uh, chicken stories over there too, some fried chicken stories. I'm sure they have some. <laughs> Ah, you know, in, in this country, I haven't seen too much. Well, in Amsterdam, uh, the city of Amsterdam, I haven't seen too many fried chicken places, man. Not, not at all. They fry oh, really? a lot of shit over there, but not, not mm -hmm. chicken. You don't see no chicken anywhere. But uh, well, I see a new uh, business opportunity awaiting you, Corey. <laughs> but man, I ain't gonna be the one to bring it because that country <laughs> already has mm -hmm. a problem with. Uh, well, I won't say it's a problem, but they have. They're for Christmas. They now. I I don't know. Noah could tell you the whole history of it. I'm not familiar with it enough to go into details, but they have their version of St. Nicholas, uh, St. Nick, Santa Claus, or uh -huh. something of that ilk. And it's a, a Christmas holiday character who, he's a saint. That's what it is. He's a saint, and he comes out, and, he's, and he has these black sidekicks. And during, uh -oh. the, during the parade every year, this saint comes out, and he's followed by his black sidekicks who are usually white people in blackface. Oh, no. God. We, can't, we can't get away from that, can we? And I'm like looking at this, and I don't get mad because even a, a few of the black people over there, they're kind of like, well, we, we grew up with this. And that's the crazy thing. You see a lot of uh, black people speaking Dutch. You see okay, everybody I, over there speaking Dutch. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see I just Asians? I just found I just found a, a picture online of what you were talking about, and <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> guy, you. you know what? It looks like the fucking the, it looks like the Pope, <laughs> except <laughs> except he he uh, he somehow managed to age like like fifty years <laughs> without a haircut. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's like Santa Claus dressed up as the Pope, and you have a bunch of uh, yeah people in blackface with red lipstick on, yeah. And it looks like something out of uh, uh, fucking uh, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's like instead of being, uh, instead of Santa Claus being drawn by eight tiny reindeer, he's being drawn by eight tiny black faces. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I mean, and the black people, they, there was one guy I hung out with, a real cool guy named Ryan. And Ryan is uh -huh. really cool, man. He, he's yeah. like a, he's, he's a pilot and a young guy too. He's a pilot and he said he's going to come over and take us flying sometime. You know, we always say this shit, it never happens, but. But he's he's a black dude. Where's, where's he gonna fly us? I don't know. I don't know around the block. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> but he's uh, so this dude, man. He he uh, was talking about how the blackface thing. He he wasn't too comfortable with it, but he said it's just something that you grew up with. And see, this is where we don't get mad, people, because we know that they didn't really mean anything by it. It's really a cultural thing for them. Now, do I think as we become more international, should they be more sensitive to something like that? I, yeah, I think so. But I'm not. I'm definitely not over there protesting, and I got a picket sign on my hand saying, "I will boycott this country until you get rid of the black faces." <laughs> yeah, you you run in the middle of the parade. Stop! Yeah. Stop this! <laughs> what, what the fuck is going on around here? Enough is 
too much. Are you going to be like the uh, the black sheriff in Blazing Saddles? <laughs> like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> he wore a Blazing Saddle. Yeah, I'm, I'm out there dressed up in my cowboy outfit. You yeah. know. Now look you know here. I, hey, somebody did send me a picture with you wearing a pink cowboy hat for some reason. I don't know. Well, I don't know what you're doing over there, Corey, but... Well, what happened was, Paul, you probably remember Paul from the London party. Paul saw that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw Travis Pickle's picture where he drew me in a, one of those pink cowboy hats, and, and he bought one <laughs> and brought it over. Uh, so I just like... <laughs> so I, I like, man, I'm not I'm not wearing this hat all fucking night. I'll take one, a couple of pictures on this boat ride so yeah, you can say I put it on. Yeah, well, you you took the pictures where it counted <laughs> on a boat ride. On a boat ride, exactly, <laughs> where nobody could see me. Because on land, I wasn't going to do that shit. But I'm, you know, on a <laughs> boat, it's all right. Well, don't worry, because they're all over the internet now. So <laughs> yeah, but hey, hey, look, the blackface minor complaint. Amsterdam's a beautiful city, and uh, like awesome. I said, uh, most of the everybody's used to what we consider to be some of the the rogue behavior, the roguish behavior that goes on there. But for the rest of the place, I mean, it's it is beautiful, nice cafes to eat in. Like I mentioned, yeah. wonderful architecture. It's it mm -hmm. is great. So I highly recommend people visit. Uh, then I went ahead and came on over here to Croatia, which is it, it's a nice place, man. Again, great, a lot of great architecture, but talk about mm -hmm. a, a a country where you totally stand out. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sure. Yeah, they're like, we're, okay, when they saw you, they're like, so where is your UFO? <laughs> <laughs> what is your, your, your where your is your UFO spaceship? Flying ship. <laughs> yeah, well, where is your flying? Uh, how do you say uh, a saucer? How do you say UFO flying ship? Where's the uh, space flying thing you came down in? Yeah. Space flight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are your uh, antennas, you know. <laughs> oh you, you have the tail, don't, uh, right? You, you, you have tail hidden in your pants. No, it's a, no they are, I'm surprised people are like, hey, look, Barack Obama, he, he visited. It's a no, Barack. I don't, think, I don't think they get TV in Croatia. Oh, no, they got TV here. They got, like, <laughs> two fucking channels. That's about it. But, uh, okay. No, actually, there's a lot of uh, people here who have learned to speak English because it is it is crazy how – now, for all this talk about American tourists and right. how we might perceive that Americans might be a nuisance to people when we go to their countries. Mm -hmm. These kids who are coming up today, like, people who I would say are who are under 50, mm -hmm. they've grown up on a lot of American television. And I keep hearing people everywhere say, I grew up watching Cartoon Network. They grew up with stuff that doesn't have subtitles. And most of it comes, a, a lot of it comes from America. So these kids end up sp speaking English. And yeah. just because they watch a lot of American television. And that's bad that we have uh, Telemundo here and we can't speak a lick of fucking Spanish. Isn't that we sad? have Telemundo here and we can't. Yeah, we we can't speak. We and we get taught in school. We have Mexicans that live around <laughs> yeah. us, and we can't. Speak. We still can't learn that shit. And we still can't learn that shit. No. Por qué? No, no. Por qué? Por qué? <laughs> yeah, all we all we know is see si and no. You know, that's it. And no is already our word. So it's like cerveza. I so, know yo, cerveza. Oh yeah, you get drunk in a minute. You know cerveza <laughs> and baño. <laughs> <laughs> so you could throw up after cerveza. <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> you're right, man. I was thinking the same thing. You was, <laughs> you was so right. It's like we can't. I was that we can't speak a goddamn word of anything. Barely English we can speak. Dopey ass Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm not anti-American. I love the country. I, I can't wait to come back home. I, I'm not looking. It's already talking like a foreigner. I love the country. No, I'm. But but really, you're already guilty of something. I know. Yeah, I'm coming over here, a, a conspirator. You know, uh, a saboteur. But yeah. you you do come over here and you listen to all these languages that people speak. Like over there, people who mm -hmm. they would be geniuses over in America because, like in Amsterdam, there are people who speak two, three languages like it's nothing, and they get taught in school and. Mm -hmm. They say, yeah, it's no big deal. We just pick it up as we're in school, and then we watch a lot of TV, and we pick up all different kind of languages. And you just sit up there feeling like the dumbest fucking idiot in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah, we still are. Yeah, we still, yeah, <laughs> we at least I am. Way, we feel that way, but we don't do a goddamn thing. To no, to no, pr pr proud of it. It's like, shit, I want to speak all those languages. Shit, uh -huh. I barely get hey. by with one. It ain't my problem. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> most people, unlike us, we're like, most people are like, I ain't going over there anyway. What I need to speak that shit for? I don't yeah. get paid to know shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shit, I'm going to sit up here with my hand in my pants and watch cartoons in English, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
ignorant. <laughs> and happy about it. Yeah, I was like, I'm ignorant. <laughs> Pays not to know. <laughs> <laughs> but man, these uh, um, the, no, these people over here, they are they're, they're very wonderful uh, people. They're here in Croatia, it's very very friendly. Not even the ones that can't speak English, they they will go yeah. out of their way to help you out. Even the ones that look like they they're tired, and don't want to deal with you. I mean, they'll they'll be mad. You know, you'll be wanting to walk away. They're like, uh, 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 uh. come and I bring you back. No, 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 this way, this way. You know, and it's like, okay, all right. So people really, they really do want to help you here, man, and they're glad to have you. Uh, one guy was telling me tonight. He's like, look, regardless of what you hear about the country and how tourists might seem like they're pest, we love having the the tourists come here, not only to help the economy, but it's just exciting having people here from other countries show up. He's like, you know, Croatia is a small country, and the, and Zagreb is. Not exactly a huge city, so they're like for anybody who comes over here to visit, we're, we're grateful. So yeah, that's cool. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, maybe someday I'll get to go visit. So. Yeah, man, it's it really one of these days you will, and we're gonna travel together and we're gonna go see these places because it helps to have people one either let you stay at their place, mm -hmm. two, uh, uh, it can show you a cheap place to stay, mm -hmm. or, and, and three come around and show you around even though a lot of times it's good to go out on your own that's why i like to travel alone because mm -hmm. it's really good to throw yourself in situations where you don't know how you're going to get from point a to point b and you're just going right. to have to use your wits and your ingenuity to get by and mm -hmm. once you do you realize it's not really as hard as i thought it was yeah no i i actually do uh I do enjoy traveling alone, uh, especially when it's straight down the street, um, <clears throat> because that's usually the only place I can go. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks to your ass, you don't take me. To, you don't take me nowhere. So people either have to kidnap me you know, or, or sneak me out in the middle of the night to go do something. But uh, yeah, no, uh, no, I made my trip to uh, London and Paris, so that that was uh, that was awesome. And uh, uh, but I do uh, I look forward to uh, going to Amsterdam in Croatia and see where we'll, we'll see we'll see where else we can go from there. Huh? Oh man, well I'm already trying to get to Japan, and we we even talked about doing a a road trip f uh, for Europe, talking about mm -hmm. going from I think starting in Amsterdam and ended up in ending up in uh, Morocco or something. I don't know. We we were talking about God going somewhere. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> having to go through France and all this kind of stuff, and it can be done mm -hmm. a week, and it can be done fairly inexpensive. And we were talking about getting a few lucky spill members together. Whoever wants to go, about 10, 10 people, maybe a little bit more. I don't want to overshoot. We said we said twenty, and I don't want to flatter myself, but we said yeah. we get if we get enough people who want to do it, we're going to like do a caravan uh, across Europe for about five days and just see what happens and, I, and, and kind of document it and see what we get from it. I kind of get the whole thing on video and all kind of stuff, man. So I tell, I, I tell you what's going to happen. They're going to end up blowing up that goddamn van. <laughs> <laughs> see all you motherfuckers. They got some kind of a fucking base going on. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> I think it's an alien invasion. <laughs> oh, alien, come back with friends. <laughs> Going to rape like, my chickens. No, they got they already got satellite missiles directed on our ass and everything. <laughs> Stop those motherfuckers if they get over here. <laughs> but now yeah, nah, we Corey, they got sling slingshots and missiles. <laughs> yeah, they, they still out there throwing rocks and shit. Yeah, they got yeah. they got ten year olds throwing rocks at the at the van. <laughs> hey, get away! Oh, but uh, no, man, it sounds like uh, sounds like you're having a blast. But uh, it's it's great, speaking, man. Speaking of Speaking of blast, though, let me uh, let, let, let's get back to Amsterdam real quick because, okay. uh, like I told you, you uh, I got that email uh, that was <laughs> today. Okay, and I'm looking at it right now. It's from Uzi Pops. <laughs> okay, right Uzi here. Pops. It says right here. Like, listen to this. Hey man, has Corey ever smoked weed uh, with you? Because and this is how it's this is how how it's written. So uh, bear with me. Uh -oh. Yeah, it says, "Hey man, has Corey ever smoked weed with you?" Cause in Amsterdam, someone fucked him up by asking him <laughs> if he wanted a space cake, and Corey said yes without any idea of what it was other than a brownie. Okay, <laughs> that's all, I all got. right, man. Look, this, this motherfucker already, I already got a, uh, an email from him. I know you're talking about. <laughs> let me let me read you my email from him because I got one okay. too. Okay, I know okay. exactly what you're talking about. Check this shit out. <laughs> he said, "This from yeah, Uzi Pops. Yeah, motherfucker, look." Hey, bro, <laughs> and he and he wrote he wrote this shit crazy on my on my email too. 
I, I thought you were just trying to be pure for the youth of the site. But <laughs> you really haven't ever experimented with weed and other low drugs? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Are you too afraid? Are high and mighty? Or is beer and pussy your only cup of tea? <laughs> 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 That's awesome! Oh my god! Hey, hold you on son real of quick, a bitch! I'm, I'm, I'm about to write that on my spill page. <laughs> Is your pussy your only cup of tea? <laughs> That's genius! <laughs> Put that on my page right now. <laughs> oh wow! Man, you son of a bitch! Uh, let me tell you something, man. I yes, I have. I, I have done weed, yes, as you say. I have, I have smoked. I have not even experimented with weed. I smoke weed occasionally, and I don't do it a lot because it's. I, I don't encourage people to do weed because it makes you lazy. I, at least it does with me. And yeah. I can see how people can become potheads and don't want to do shit all day. It's like I can't do this. If I'm if I'm in an environment where it's a party or something's going on, I might partake a little bit, and then I I have to be done for the night. And I have to get ready to be. Uh, uh, to sit down for a little while and not drink anything, uh, might even fall asleep. So I don't recommend people do a lot of weed. I don't. Now I don't. St I'm still not against uh, making it legal, but I'm just saying, just like with anything, it's just like with yeah. drinking or anything. You got to be responsible with it. And as we know, we're not always all responsible with it. But yes, I. I, right. I it's not that I haven't experimented with weed. Yeah, I smoke weed all the time. I mean, when I say all the time, like about once or twice <laughs> a year. But. Uh, when yeah, I, do it, do it, do it when the time calls for it. Yeah, which is whenever you're in the room with a lot of hot chicks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, no, nah, kids, I'm not trying to tell you to to do it. In fact, if I would tell like anybody, uh, I'd rather tell kids don't smoke cigarettes before they smoke weed. But I'm telling you, don't even smoke weed until you're responsible enough to do it because uh, it is it is a drug and it does fuck with your head. I mean, yeah. I just, it's not gonna make I, you go crazy. I mean, it'll, it'll mess with you like alcohol will, you know. I tell people just 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 do what you got to do, but but just don't bother me. Just so, yeah, exactly. That's the thing, you know. Don't do anything that's going to endanger my life. Let me endanger my own life, all right? <laughs> you know, I do that. I do that well enough on my own. What you say? Just do don't bother me. Just don't fucking bother me. <laughs> <laughs> just leave me alone. Man. Yeah, I don't care what you do. Yeah, just get the fuck out. I don't have to wake up with your ass in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna change what I had for breakfast? <laughs> I've always loved that saying of yours. Hey, it's not gonna change what I have for breakfast. <laughs> so fuck off. Uh, but nah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I. The thing is with the space cake. I no, I have not had space cake before. I, I, like I say, I'm not. I'm not a big uh, weed smoker. I, I, so I. I don't know everything that's in the dealings of of, of hash and marijuana, especially with hash. It's like hash oh, is yeah, something yeah. that you really can't it's get in America. way more potent over there, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and hash is something that'll keep you. It's mellow, man. It's not going to – it doesn't mess with you like weed. It's real mellow, and it's best that you get it like in a cigarette because any other form, they tell you, is not good. And I learned that the hard way. Like, I, of course, I, I've had marijuana brownies, but I've never had space cake before where it was baked with hash because hash is just not easy to come by in America. Yeah. And, and that yeah. takes a little that takes a little bit longer for it to hit you because you actually you have to digest it and uh, I guess the uh, THC you know takes oh. takes a little bit longer than if you were just to smoke it but man it it uh. it will mess with you like that dude in training day said big time bro <laughs> yeah. for some people it doesn't I mean like the guy that we were with I mean he had some I don't know if I ate more than he did or uh, or if he just had a part of it that wasn't that bad because what I had like look I'll tell the story for people who haven't heard I'll try to make it quick and I want to give you the bridge version if you want to hear the whole version listen to it on this podcast that's coming up with me Noah and Janik the Krav or uh, listen to it on a couple of cold ones but yeah basically yeah. Uh, we were on a boat and I was sitting with Paul and uh, this other dude, I don't want to say his name because uh, yeah. I don't know if you want. But anyway, we were sitting there. And yeah, he's wanted. Yeah, yeah, he's wanted in 50 states. That's why he's <laughs> over in Amsterdam because he was fleeing the country. Uh, so he, he, they say, hey, you want some space cake? And I'm like, mm, yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm eating, and I'm thinking it like it's a, when they say space cake, I'm thinking it's a mild version of marijuana brownies. You know, they're just eating it like it's nothing. That's the other thing. It's just like you so, it's so casual that you don't think. It's right out there for everybody to get. Right. So I'm sitting up yeah. there chowing down, and I get off the boat after the boat ride because Noah set up this big boat ride for us. And I'm walking, and all of a sudden, just, I, I, all of a sudden I say to myself, because uh, they're having a carnival and there's a ride going on and, and I'm about to get on a ride and, and just in the back of my head it clicked like I do not need to get on that for some reason I just don't need to ride this in fact I need to get away from everybody 
I need to just get, I need to have some time to myself. So I walk away, I leave, and I go to this mm-hmm. bar just to sit by myself, and I like, you know, I'll have a drink, and I'll be ready to get back with people because we'll eat, be eating dinner, and things will be fine. Mm-hmm. So I tell them to give me the strongest uh, Belgian ale that they have, which was Duval, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I'm, I've already had Space Cake, which I'm not even thinking about. I've had a couple of beers, and I'm drinking a strong Belgian ale all on an empty stomach. Now, as I'm sitting up there oh, drinking, shit. the cake just, I don't even think about it. Like, it's, I, I, I don't even remember eating it because it was mm-hmm. so casual. And I'm sitting up there talking to the bartenders, and then this bartender comes over, and she says, so where are you from? And I'm talking to her, and all of a sudden, I see the background just kind of moving, and uh-huh. I'm hearing myself talk, but I'm having trouble spitting those words out, man. I'm like, I'm from Tahe. I'm from Tahe, Ta- Ta- <laughs> And I'm like, what I'm the Tiba Taba Tiba. Help from Tibbity Tubbity. You became Pootie Tang. <laughs> you transformed I'm... into Pootie Tang. Or <laughs> I'm from Tiba the high file and the Pity Tang. I'm the Ibby I'm the Ibby file and the Pity Tie. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I said that and uh, I saw her looking at me crazy and I was just got all, I got all paranoid and I drank from the rest of my duvel because I was like, man, I don't know if the, I said, is this the beer doing this to me? I'm still going to drink it because I bought it. But I was like, is this is this beer that's making me like this? Because my legs got cold. My hair got light <laughs> and I was I felt numb in some parts. And it was a cross between like feeling really good, but feeling yeah. like really tired and, and, and just a tingly in that bad way. Like I can't. I can't shake this feeling. I gotta get it off. So, <laughs> I got I got up and and left the bar. Just like, even they and they were like, "Hey, thanks a lot, sir." And I was just like, hey, hey, and so I walked out. Yeah, I found a titty tie. That's what I told my way out. Any pound a high five, you know. But I I walked out and I I they they uh, had been looking for me the, the rest of the party because it was all 20 people out there walking around with this fucking carnival. That's another reason why I left. I was like, I can't keep up this many people. Let Noah handle this. And I get out there and there's oh, this one guy that I run into and he says, hey man, we split up into three parties and everybody's looking for you. And he says, it's funny because right when we split up, you showed up. And But I'm looking at him while he's talking. I'm like, what do you mean everybody's looking for me? I'm all paranoid and I'm talking to him. And I'm trying to make jokes, but I'm like, the whole time he's looking at me and it was bad because I'm thinking, he knows I'm high. Be cool, man. Be cool. He, uh, you, don't want, you don't want anybody to see you like this. Just be cool. And so we went to dinner. All right, come on. Come on, K-Cool, man. Be yeah, cool. Yeah, be, be come cool. K-Cool, man, at becool.com. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, man, and we go to dinner and everybody's kind of quiet and that makes me even more paranoid because I'm thinking uh-huh. like, Oh man, they're hating me because they know I'm high. They don't like me and think I'm a bad person. And so I'm, I'm like, and and then I see Noah. She's kind of worried about the party not going well because everybody's so quiet. And uh-huh. so I'm just kind of like, all right, let me get the party going because I've done this before. Let me just get oh people talking, hey, tell hey, stories. Well, was that song playing in the background from Revenge of the Nerds when everyone's just sitting down quiet? All right. All right, party. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well have been, man, because there was nothing going on. People just sitting there. And I started telling stories and everything, and people started getting into it. But then it would get to a point where I just didn't know what I was saying. My, it was like I would leave my words behind. Like if I was running, my words were left behind me. I actually saw that visual in my head. Like I was running and leaving my words behind. And Oh, no. You became like a Sesame Street, uh, Sesame Street, Sesame Street <laughs> skit. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like did they do that on the electric company? Electric company, yeah. Run on they, sentence. They say, yeah, they say a word, and the words come spitting out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Go running off. <laughs> Ka, Ori, Kori. <laughs> it's like cool, cool. Yeah, except it's like it's like the, uh, the one guy was talking. I couldn't get the other word out. B. Yeah. And the other guy's like, "Come on, man, get it out." B. Yeah. Cool. And I was like, "Okay, yeah, be cool." Did, and did did you see the word fucked? You be fucked. Fucked up. Fucked up. But nah, man, we were. We were sitting at the table, so when I started like not able to like finish stories and I was you know, falling asleep, I finally told people. I just I, I got I, I, somebody was talking to me, and I just saw, I, I was falling asleep. And so when they said, but you know you 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 do that when you're when you're not stoned. <laughs> I know, but is that but it was even deeper at this point. It felt worse, and I finally just felt so bad that I just slammed my hand down the table and I told everybody like, people, okay, you got me. I'm fucked up, okay. I'm I'm oh. high. I'm stoned. I don't know how. Else. And, I, and that's the thing. I was like, I, I said, I'm sorry. I don't know how I got this high because 
I didn't, <laughs> apparently, this motherfucker sitting two table, two chairs down from me who had the same cake is not tripping either. <laughs> but uh, and everybody was looking at me like, and I, they would say, uh, "Yeah, Corey, we we all know that you're messed up right now. And, you know, this is no big news. We could tell." <laughs> And I had to, yeah. I just had to go back and take a nap. I told Noah, I said, man, I need to go back, lay on the floor, take a nap, and I'll come back out. And when I come back out, things should be better. And uh, <laughs> sure enough. But here's the funny thing, man. Here, I keep forgetting yeah. to tell this part when I tell people. Here's how I knew I was high. Because yeah. when, I didn't, when, I knew, when I didn't know what it was because I forgot about the cake, <clears throat> I was like, uh-huh. I, that's why I wasn't telling anybody. Because I was like, I don't want people to, to like, start worrying about me in case somebody spiked my drink. Or something, because right. I don't know what was happening. I didn't know where it came from. So, uh, Paul, Paul put a roofie in your drink. Yeah, Paul tried. Paul, uh, Paul tried to rape me. Is what happened. And <laughs> <Yeah>. I, <laughs> no, what happened was uh, I was walking besides Paul, and Paul started looking around, and Paul was his eyes were big, and he was smiling. And he was like, "Oh wow, man, this whole city is like Willy Wonka's factory with the colorful caves." <laughs> And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I said, you're, you're tripping too. Oh, it's that fucking cake we ate. And he's like, yeah, bro. Isn't it wild? And I was like, oh, fuck, man. I was like, are you fucked too? And he's like, yes, I'm totally fucked. I'm tripping balls. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And the guy who, t- who gave it to us, he's like, my balls are tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I see them. I'm, I'm tripping over my balls. <laughs> <laughs> but he, the guy who gave it to him, he's like, yeah, you, you dumb motherfuckers, you had space cake. What did you think? But we were like, no, nah, man, this is like acid, okay? This is not like just a marijuana brownie. I'm fucked right now. So I went back, took a nap, and when I got back, the party went off better than we could expect it. I mean, everybody was like, wow, this was a lot of fun. It was great. Met some really cool people. I can't name everybody, but I can name some people. Came out the next day, like uh, – uh, uh, Yannick the the Krav and uh, Rilke, uh, how you say his name? Rilke, Rilke and uh, Ryan. I'm saying people's names who came, who really put in a lot of extra effort. Who? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm still I'm still I'm still thinking about Paul being all fucked up. Oh yeah. I, I, I'm imagining he he looks like the what the the Cheshire cat from uh, Alice in yeah. Wonderland. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was smiling <laughs> the whole. And I felt bad for that dude too because uh-huh. I got to go take a nap. He did not. So the whole night he was up there looking like he had this worried look on his face, like, "Oh, bro, I'm still tripping." <laughs> He's hanging out on a tree, like in a cat suit. <laughs> you know, all you see, like goes dark. All you see is teeth. <laughs> teeth and eyes. Yo, yeah, he's smiling like a Cheshire cat. He just disappears. <laughs> Cheshire cat. That's it. It's all, I said Cheshire. <laughs> Cheshire, Cheshire cat. His, his, uh, his, the only thing is that you see him are his teeth still talking. Wow, bro, yeah. oh, I'm tripping balls. <laughs> but man, uh, it, it, and a guy named who who is their name of uh, uh, Flores. Mm-hmm. Like you say it with a row Flores. But I'm just gonna say, Florida. So. He's the one that like actually got things going while I was gone. He took people to like this really cool club and and had everybody dancing and everybody was having a good time. Your boys, uh, Rick and Mark, were out there having a good time, man. Rick, oh, cool. they didn't even let Rick back in the club. Rick left the club and tried to get back in, and uh-huh. they wouldn't let him back in. He and he didn't understand. That he was drunk. He had he, he, his uh, he kept pulling out his his passport trying to show the guy at the door. He's like. Look, I'm really 18. Really, and the guy's like, "No, you you fucked up. Go away." He was like, "But I'm 18." <laughs> he just kept standing. I will not be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but man, for Rick, man, I'm always rooting for that guy. <laughs> so, I know Rick and Rick and Mark, man. They 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 are some fun guys, man. I, I love hanging out with those guys. I'm gonna see him again in London when I go back. So I tell him you said hi. I'll see Paul yeah. for a night. And I'm gonna and I know Paul. And I'm gonna be looking at each other like, oh fuck, man. <laughs> but man, no, let me. Man. Paul, Paul's a lot of fun to hang out with. Yeah, Paul is fun, man. I can't wait to see him again. Uh, how, how was Travis? You saw Travis, right? I was just gonna say, man. I'm trying to get if it's, and if it's okay, and I'm not overstepping my boundaries with the budget or anything. I'm trying to have Travis do some work, man. Badass. Yeah, that's, I mean, because there's awesome. been things I've been wanting to do, like illustrations and all kind of stuff, and I just don't have the time to do them. And Travis has been right. like, "Hey, man, I, I I love doing these illustrations for you guys because you know he's making Travis Pickle is making great website. I mean, not websites, but illustrations, man, for the website. Oh yeah, and, I know he makes yeah. he makes them in no time. Too. And that's, makes that's them in no time, thing. not getting yeah. paid for them. No shit, he's doing that out of rub. Out of rub, <laughs> I rub you, <laughs> real rot rum. Uh, he's no. We met 
th- Noah and I met with him like right before I went to Croatia, which was a couple of days ago, and I had a good. Uh, I wouldn't say it was really lunch. We had we went early in the day and drank some beers at a movie theater, and he had his wife show up, and oh, that's his, cool. and his wife is look. I'm sorry, uh, Travis Pickle, but I'm gonna say this out loud. Your wife is fucking hot, man. Okay, um, I, I'm I was. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that's a compliment. Uh, I, she... I think some people would find that as a compliment. I know. <laughs> it's, well, not... it's not. Yeah, thank God you didn't go. Damn, Travis, you, your wife. Holy shit! Well, shit yeah, no. That bitch Ooh, is ugly. Shit. <laughs> Be like Fred Sanford say, "Damn, Travis, uh, your wife been, you been using her face to make gorilla cookies with." <laughs> <laughs> your wife wearing her Halloween costume. Right? What's going on? <laughs> Damn, your wife <laughs> really looking forward to Halloween, man. Yeah, I don't, th- I don't think you need to apologize to me. No, him I need to apologize for what I did after I saw his wife when I went back oh, to my hotel. No, I'm geez. kidding. No, Travis knows how I am. I know. There, no, he's there, there goes another employee. I know. There they go. <laughs> another sexual harassment <laughs> filed on me. <laughs> Uh, no, he was, he, he, he's really cool to sit down and talk with, man. We had, a, a, we sat down for about an hour and had like a really great conversation, man. And he, let me tell you something that's really cool. His friend Simon was great to talk to. And I won't say much about Simon, but Simon did some incredible work on where the wild things are. Oh, he, Simon. Okay. Now Simon, I met yeah at the London party and yeah, uh, yeah hung out with, with him and Travis and man, they, those, those fucking guys were just fun to hang out with and uh i didn't know what simon did until i think after he left somebody told me that he worked on some pixar stuff Am well, I, right? I, I, or... I really don't want to say because i mean it's it's exciting everything he told us but he's worked right. he's he worked he's worked on a lot of cool shit cool shit that's all i can say yeah yes. very very <laughs> impressive resume this man had yeah. and he, he was telling me about some of the stuff that he was doing coming up for some some motion pictures and i don't want to talk about it because right right the, the the big budget movies that are coming out and he was telling me the work that he's done on them and i mm-hmm. can't wait to see them so i can tell people i know the guy who did that but <laughs> yeah he's it's travis's friend and mm-hmm. they and travis is from uh, it's from scotland i think and Simon works in London for a big yeah. special effects yeah. house. And I'm going to try and hook yeah, up with Simon was... on Friday. <laughs> oh, no shit. Okay, that's yeah. cool. No, nah, man, uh, tell those t- – yeah, tell, tell him I said hello. He was, uh, he was really awesome. He bought me some beers, and I appreciate that coming from somebody that you know, wasn't even on the site. I don't even know if he's still on – I don't even know if he's on the site now. He but, said uh, he is, but – Is he? Okay. Yeah, but hey yeah, – I'm not looking for people. A lot of people get no. the mis they miss they, they get the misconception that we want people to join and be no, really no, active no, on the site. I mean, yeah, we do if you fit, but there's some people who if you like, want to, yeah, yeah, if you want to, that's great. I mean, we have a nice community here, but there's some people who get fed up and they're like, I'm leaving, but I'm gonna still come back and visit the podcast and listen to your podcast and videos. It's like, okay, well, that's that's cool. That's all I'm really asking for. Yeah, yeah. no, no, I have a lot of friends that just listen to the podcast and, but you know, the the social thing that's that's just not there. They they just don't do that. They don't yeah. do that on Facebook. Facebook or MySpace, so there ain't no problem with that. Yeah, and uh, if you do, I mean, I think it's a, I, I think we're probably one of the nicest community, communities out there. So I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I mean, yeah, if you right. if you're into that kind of thing, join it and see what it's like. And but we're not asking people to like come on and stay on. So yeah, he yeah, he's still on the site, but yeah, he's not one of those people cool. who has, has to feel obligated to write blogs every day and shit like that. Right. I mean, we're not looking, right. we're not we're not expecting that out of people all the time. So. But so yeah, it, it, Travis says hi and Simon says hi and uh, everybody was cool, man. It was a, it was a really great thing. Noah's thinking about doing it again next year. We're gonna mm-hmm. have to start actually figuring out what qualifies as an official party and what doesn't because <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Somebody did a party in New York Saturday night. Uh-huh. I wonder how that went down. They they tried to do a spill get together, which was fine. I mean, they just said we're gonna do yeah. a meet and greet, and. It was on the same night as the Amsterdam party, and I wonder what the results were. I wonder, if anybody can tell me how that party went down, let me know. I'd, I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like to know. Or post uh, post some pictures up on uh, on spill. So. Yeah, yeah. Post post uh, story pictures. Uh, anything you know. So yeah. yeah. Uh, we speaking of parties, I think mm-hmm. I think we we've, we've been approved to do something just a little bit bigger next year for our spill party in Austin. Oh, no shit, huh? Yeah, a lot of those things that we were talking about doing, I think that we're actually going to be able to do it. It's going to be some work to get it together, so I have to really pull my shit together. But That's right, Corey. You got to pull all your shit together because I ain't going to pull nothing. No, no yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to pull your shit, and that's what it is, yeah, shit. Have, have fun. <laughs> shit. But I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll buy some uh, Transformer paper plates. So, uh, <laughs> and, and some party hats. 
Yeah, but and, and and I'm only I'm only using the, I only have that because uh, fucking Leon let some plates here the other night. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> he let the, you're gonna use his leftover transformer plates and Spider Man yeah. plates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we are planning on having something a little bit bigger. We're still planning on June, but if it takes off and seems like it's gonna be bigger to uh, it's gonna, if it's gonna be a bigger task to pull together, we might have to postpone until maybe later in the summer or uh-huh. I don't know when but we cuz I want to do it right I don't want to rush it but right. cuz if this happens it'll be bigger in number right but because it's bigger and because we're trying to to do certain things that will require people to be there we can't have this whole thing where hey come on out we're having a party and then a lot of people flake out we're, we're going to have to charge tickets for it and we're talking right. about like maybe 10 to Fifteen dollars for a ticket, probably fifteen. You know when people say ten to fifteen, you just gonna push it to fifteen. <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't I even know I'm trying to, say, to fuck yeah. with people. It's probably about fifteen bucks, but yeah. it'll be it's, it's, it'll be worth it, man. If you do that, and it's a small price to pay for something that might be pretty cool. And part of that is going to be the Spill Film Festival, where we have and people. You can start doing this now because I know that we're gonna have one uh, in some in some way in some capacity. So I, I just want to get people started early. What the film festival is going to be is we're going to be asking people to do a five minute or less, no more than five minutes, uh, a short film done in any kind of style, animation, live action, anything goes. The only catch is that besides being five minutes or less, it has to be about spill. It has to be done with the characters. It has to be about the crew. That includes all of us. Uh, yes, even even, even you. Yeah, which you know all of them are going to be like co-host submissions now. Right. Uh, so <laughs> we haven't decided what the award is going to be. We haven't decided how we're going to judge these. All we know is that we're going to have an evening where we're going to watch the best ones. We're going to come in with commentary and sit there and, and kind of just have a good time. So, so yeah, right. uh, we're planning to do – now, at the last Bill Party, we did a live podcast, and that was my experiment to see if it would work. And you said people were enjoying right. themselves, and so I was like, okay, now that we know that it can work, and that one wasn't even all that organized, I'm going to do something a little bit more organized, and that means that I'm working on getting uh, a little somebody that you and I love to show up. No shit. Now, <laughs> two year, if you, with two I, who I think you're talking about, why were we were? Well, I'm working that, on it. All right. I'm Keep working on working. it. I've yeah. already made some calls, and because I had to leave the country, I haven't heard back yet on anything, but I'm going to be pursuing this very heavily. And if we can't get that person, we'll try to get somebody else. But we're talking about getting some named people in, people, so that we can do some live panels, uh, podcasts with these, with, with these uh, celebrities. So yeah. we're trying to figure out who we can bring and how many and how much it'll be. And th- that includes that person that you and I were talking about, which I think would be uh-huh. great. Huh. So wow. you, you and I, and I don't want it to be something that's crowded either. If it's going to be a let's do this, then it's a, a live let's do this. It's just going to be me and you on stage. If it's going to be right. the League of, Ex- of Extremely Ordinary Gentlemen, it's going to be, well, I don't know how those guys are going to handle it. I recommend that they bring two people on stage instead of trying to be like a fucking concert up there, not, not an orchestra, you know? Okay. <laughs> that, that's my, I bring people on in, in, bits, in bit parts. Uh, I would recommend uh-huh. that. Because that's why I'm saying no more than like two people on stage because it get, it gets crazy if you have more right, trying right. to talk. Well, so. I'm sure I'm sure all you guys can work all that out. So. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll work it out. But people, yeah, uh, yeah uh, Spill Film Festival. If you want to submit a movie, start working on it now. Mm-hmm. And I'm just I'm letting you know right now we don't want to be mm-hmm. we don't want to ignore people that put hard work their hard work and everything. But yeah. I, you know I don't want to say that we can't show everything because I don't even know how this is going to pull together. But let's just say we get a lot of submissions. Let's just speculate. Let's mm-hmm. just dream big. We wa- mm-hmm. we obviously won't be able to show everything, so we got to mm-hmm. pick a certain number of winners. So uh, if you're making one of these films, put your best foot forward and make something cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, d- don't make anything dumb. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be stupid. Um, no, but uh, speaking of something, it's funny you mentioned that. I was just looking on my page here real quick, and um, I don't I don't know if you've been able to see this. Um, this guy, his name is L. Gabster. Uh huh. He he did a 3D rendering of me uh and it's actually me on his desk in front of his monitor and it's a work in progress but god damn it looks pretty damn incredible 
Well, um, see, it's that kind of thing. I wouldn't wow. be careful how you show yeah. that. Oh, and that's a, that's another thing. If we start getting these submissions in, I'm going to start trying to show. And I'll tell people how to submit them, but I, I want to start showing like just bits and pieces of what people are submitting. I don't want to show their whole thing. So mm-hmm. you just to show just the, the, the competition that's out there. So, All right. well, yeah, so yeah, I can't wait to see what this guy did Whoop. for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll I'll try to put it on my front page today, so you'll be able to see it. Maybe you can put it up on the Let's Do This page. When, yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. When this when this broadcast is, is all right. Over. Um, so yeah, good, good thing, man. <laughs> so I don't want to talk any more about it because this, this nah. is all like it, uh, er, very but, early stages. Yes, yes. We don't want to get anybody. Yeah, don't get don't get too crazy right now. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess work on your projects if if you want to and uh, and we'll, plan on we'll, coming we'll to try. Austin sometime. Yes. Just think just think ahead. Plan on coming to Austin and sometime yeah. either early summer, like maybe in June or maybe later. But we'll let you know yeah. and, and 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 save up that those dollars. Save up those fifteen dollars yes. so you can get it. And we're gonna do our best. To, to make sure it's the best money you've ever fucking spent in your oh, life. We are, man. E- even, 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 you know, we, we may even have fucking hookers and windows for you. Oh, we might we bring Amsterdam there. Yeah. Hell yeah. We might put Cyrus up in a window for you, like we were talking about. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> but Cyrus and Leon, you know, fuck that Leon. They don't need to be fucking broadcasting shit. We're going to put them to work. <laughs> put all, all the league in windows. <laughs> <laughs> Old guys, man, they they do a good job. Though. I'm not gonna. I would know I love, we, we no, rag I, on I them, man, guys. but they do a good job. I want to be supportive. I, I, I don't want them, them to think that we we just make fun of them because you know why, that's it's what easy. we do. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, that's what we do. <laughs> it's easy. Not, cheap, cheap laughs. <laughs> but what, what I really do respect what they do. I'm glad that they've kind of taken the reins and done their own thing. So good for them, man. So let's uh, move on to some things that we said we we're going to talk about before we get out of here. I'm gonna bring up a couple of things. Uh, I I leave the country, man. Mm-hmm. And I'd be goddamn if somebody hadn't let a balloon go talking about a six-year-old boys in that shit. Oh, bullshit! You know what? The, the moment the moment I saw that balloon, I I, I screamed bullshit. <laughs> Shoot it down! <laughs> it's, it's a fucking balloon, right? I mean, how how big does that balloon have to be to carry a, a little kid like that? And I, I just I wasn't buying it. And yeah. And, and then, of course, later on, you find out that the kid was fucking hiding in in the in the basement or something. I, I, I don't know. I didn't even follow the story because as soon as I heard it was bullshit, I was like, of course it was. And I just stayed away from that story because I, I know I know it's been all it was all over the news all over the weekend. And, and, and you can just feel like all over the Internet, just people were getting just pissed off about it. You know, everyone was like, who gives a fuck about that little kid? Fuck him. No. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> so, like, people were pissed. I, I, don't, I don't know how they were reporting the story, but people were angry. They're like, I hope that fucking kid flies, flies to fucking Amsterdam for all I give a shit about. <laughs> yeah. But no, that, but see, that's the thing. It's like, okay, see, that's my point. It's like, we're making jokes like, yeah, they had, yeah, we're waiting, we're waiting for the army to shoot that balloon down with the kid in it. Yeah, fuck that kid. Shoot it down. <laughs> you know, that, no, people, <laughs> if you don't know the story by now, people do. I, but I left the country, so I caught up on it late. So you should have been seeing right. me when I was like, what the fuck is going on? I yeah. leave the country and this happens. Yeah, it's this, uh, this balloon went up in the air. And it, first of all, the balloon looks like something that you pop popcorn in, it looked like Jiffy Pop, you know? I'm like, yeah. so how, the, and so it was just floating along. And I'm like, how the fuck can anything be in that? And it's not weighted down by, by some, by a human being. I mean, even a six year old boy, yeah. like this thing wouldn't be able to fly with that shit. It's tin mm-hmm. foil, but no, and that, that shit, the way it looked, I mean, the pictures that I saw, it looked all limp, it looked like a limp dick balloon. I mean, that's what it looked like. And <laughs> I was like, you telling me there's somebody in there? Well, what? Yeah. It looked like somebody <laughs> made a, looked like that fucking hat, that tin foil hat that kid was wearing <laughs> inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's like, oh, that kid's hat flew away. But no, they – so they follow this because they want to know how this balloon is going to land, and they want to know if the kid is in it, and everybody's worried that this kid is in danger. So you got a couple of helicopters following. I think a couple of military helicopters following this. There's this worldwide search. There's all this news, international news that's watching this as it happens. And it, as you delve deeper into it, you find out that – it's the, the that balloon is the quote unquote invention of this guy named Richard Heen, and Richard Heen was a him him and his family were on a reality TV show called Wife Swap. Mm-hmm. So you, that now right then and there you're thinking, <clears throat> okay, reality TV guys involved, <clears throat> something is this guy? You even thinking right then and there, this, is this guy 
out there seeking fame. But everybody's kind of be, yeah. being cool about it. Like, okay, th- let's not think that way. There's a kid in danger. They can't find it. Because when the balloon landed, the kid wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, was, <laughs> I don't know if you're still there. You're like, mm-hmm. you're beginning to sound like Carlisle now. Uh, uh, that, 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 that was my impression of, uh, yeah, a couple of quotes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, I was waiting for you to laugh at one of your own jokes. Yeah. So I can just... <laughs> So I, so I, I just, I'll be silent. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. What about oh, me? Damn, man, you ruined it, Corey. <laughs> I was gonna let you laugh too. That. No. no. All right. Go so, do it again. Laugh. But, <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. So you know something's crazy here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> damn, you really are doing. You're doing a good job. What? What's going on? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was. Uh, I was thinking. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about what I was going to say next. Uh, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. So, but yeah, you were saying about the about the balloon. Oh yeah, so you were thinking about this balloon thing. You think, okay, something crazy, but you know, there's a kid lost right now. Nobody's going to be an asshole about it. Right. And then th- th- all the stuff starts coming up. Like, okay, uh, they start doing these news stories where this kid, <laughs> this kid, when they find a kid, the kid starts throwing up <laughs> because the kid knew that something mm-hmm. was fucked and he was in the middle yeah. of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I think they were even on one TV show where the kid just fucked everybody. <laughs> they were on. Uh, they were on Larry King. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that kid. <laughs> that kid just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna fuck everybody with this. I'm tired of this." He's like, "Dad, I thought you told me this was for a show." <laughs> and his dad like, yeah, no, "God, <laughs> <laughs> that kid, that kid fucked it all up. <laughs> he <laughs> fucked up his dad's dreams." <laughs> yeah, his kid's name is Falcon Heen, and he that motherfucker swooped in like a falcon and fucked his family up with this. <laughs> dad, I yeah. thought this was. A TV show that's like me and my motherfucker. He's like, there goes my fucking meal ticket up with that balloon. Oh. You know that motherfucker was like Homer Simpson. Why are you little? He saw you on TV like you little sweet kid. You almost kick your fucking ass when you get home. You gonna wish you were in a balloon disappearing. <laughs> but that kid is it. I kid, but that kid was like, you know, I had enough of this shit. I mean, that kid. That, that, now this is truly a hoax, and I still think they're trying to. The, the, the debate is out on this, but it's pretty much come out that this, okay. This no, is no, a hoax. no. It was a hoax. Yeah, yeah, there's no debate anymore. No, it was it was a hoax, and uh, I want to say today, like they were planning. The, I think they were planning on a reality show at some point, and the dad even already had a theme song ready to go with it. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. What was the I theme don't know. song? <laughs> Do you wanna fly in my beautiful you, you know balloon? What? They they played it on the news, and it was fucking god awful. Of course. I mean, it, it was about as it was about as bad as uh like fam uh, what was it uh what what was that what was that show with the, the Olsen twins? Oh, what what show was that? Uh, uh the 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 room for full two house. full house. Full there house. you go. What's the room it for sound, two? How the fuck sound, did I get that sound, from? It sounded like a fucked up version of the full house. Song. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I kid you not, dude. And this, <laughs> it's this, terrible. This, this this okay, well, who? Thought who would think that this would work? I mean, th- th- okay, they said. Now I don't want to talk bad about the guy Richard Heen if this is uh, not true. But I read mm-hmm. that this motherfucker has uh, a high school education, and that's it. And <laughs> you think? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about that. I mean, all I know about the guy is that he also uh, he's uh, one of these uh, storm chasers, and uh, apparently, like uh, they're investigating this guy. Uh, because uh, right now they're they're also looking into what he's been up to with these kids because apparently he likes taking his kids uh, on these trips with him where he's chasing storms. And uh, he had a colleague of his who was a storm chaser with him who stopped doing it with him because he would bring his kids and he thought – and his partner thought that was fucked up. You know, he's like, why are you, why are you bringing – your kids uh, to these, you know, to these really bad storms where, yeah. you know, some, there is a possibility that some at some point something can happen to us and you have your fucking kids in the truck here, you know? Well, it's just stupid, man. I mean, they got this kid. Okay. They, they, they all this shit. I mean, who wouldn't think that this would go bad? I mean, this, I think I did read, and if I'm wrong, I'm telling you right now, disclaimer, I'm wrong, but I, I read that he had a high school education and now he's out here trying to be, a fucking meteorologist and a storm chasing. He's out here trying to be uh, an inventor. He claims himself to be like a, a scientist and shit. And everybody, and everybody's like, you, you, what the, the sheriff even like was uh, thinking about bringing charges in on him. He's like, look, mm-hmm. yeah, he made a joke. I mean, it, would, it normally wouldn't be funny, but considering the circumstance, he's like, yeah, hey, this dude is nutty, but he ain't no professor. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, this right. motherfucker. Who who would actually? think that this shit would work. You got to be dumb to think that this shit was would, wouldn't work. I mean, 
Mm-hmm. You, to know the trouble that you caused, it's two like National Guard helicopters that went out there. I think they closed down the Denver airport oh, for, yeah. for a little while, trying to like wait on this fool to bring this fucking balloon down. And, uh-huh. and, it's, and he's out here fancying himself a, a, a fucking scientist doing stupid shit like this. This is why, yeah. he, you know, this, this motherfucker had dreams of aspirations. <laughs> 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 Man, he, he, yeah, he, he's watching one too many reality shows. Um, but uh, no, I mean, I, I would not be surprised if they actually end up throwing this guy in jail. Uh, only because, you know, the, look at the commotion he caused with this whole fucking stir up. You know, yeah, he's fucking places are being shut down. You know, authorities are out there, you know, working hard trying to figure out how to bring this goddamn bl- a lot of manpower just fucking wasted and yeah. a lot and a, and a lot of manpower being paid with our fucking tax money. So, yeah, exactly. I'm not going to yeah, exa- yeah, uh, over something stupid. I'm not going to say the yeah. guy doesn't love his kids, but right. he's dumb. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe I I yeah, if he didn't love that kid would have been in the fucking balloon. <laughs> you know, yeah. right here. Hey, get in here. What are you doing, Daddy? Shut up. Get in here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We're gonna go. We're gonna have some fun. Come on, you and me. Come on. Fun. All right. Okay, shut up. Yeah. No, Daddy. Get up in there, honey. No. Get up in there. Oh, damn it. Fly. Fly, balloon. Fly. <laughs> 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 and, I, and I just love this kid because you know in the back of his mind this kid was thinking I'm about to fuck them all up here because I mean you got me lying making me look stupid you know you got me looking stupid yeah, it's one thing for y'all to look bad but you got me looking bad it's bad enough everybody's calling me fucking balloon boy now <laughs> you know it's like the people don't even know my goddamn name people call me balloon boy thanks that's, now that's gonna stick through school and everything well I mean if that guy wanted to do his own reality show uh... I hope he wasn't planning on directing that shit because he yeah, he already fucked up with his kid. You know, he, they couldn't even get that shit right on on the goddamn dumb man. <laughs> in, in fact, in every picture with this kid, he this kid looking like ay ay ay. That's oh, what he looked like on Larry King. Yeah. <laughs> like, that kid probably made himself throw up too. He's probably like, I'm gonna just fuck everybody up. I'm gonna make myself throw up and just make this fool squirm. <laughs> make me look stupid. I'm gonna make you look stupid, motherfucker. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was a ridiculous event, and uh, now here's the thing, man. They will probably actually make a movie about this. I mean, yes, that yeah. that's the sad thing. But you know what? I'm not shocked, and, and, and you know what? Hey, I don't mind because uh, Hollywood's turning out some bullshit. So what, what, what what's what's going to be so different? Yeah, you know. I mean, this one might be entertaining. I mean, you know, he, yeah, hey, it's, shit. it's a good story watching somebody fuck up big time like this. So oh, shit, let, let, let the Fairley brothers fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like dumb and dumbest, right? Yeah, no, but with, with, with our luck, it'll it'll end up being fucking made by the guys who made disaster movies. So. Oh yeah, balloon movie. That's what that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, this it's that mean, but that was some comedy when it came. I feel bad for this kid. I mean, I feel bad for these. They got stories now about how. Kids are just being put into the spotlight because mm-hmm. the parents want to put them into t- into TV reality reality TV shows, and uh-huh. it's not the same for child actors. It's rough for kids who don't even want to be actors who are thrust into all this bullshit. That's another thing. And kids, uh, kid actors, especially those who are in TV reality shows, are, mm-hmm. are reality TV shows. They they don't have the same work laws that apply to uh, child labor laws that apply to uh, other children. So yeah. You know, because it's seen well, as entertainment. I, mean, I always think about. I always put. I always put like like the the, the balloon kid. I always. I kind of put him in the same light as far as having the the, the parents that are like those fucking beauty pageant parents. Yes, that exactly. Fucking that do all kinds of monstrous things to their fucking children by painting them up like fucking as clowns and fucking throwing up on throwing them up on stage and, and telling them to perform like fucking dancing monkeys i mean uh, there should be a fucking law against that shit there really I'm should sh- be sh- man I- i'm shocked that that shit still goes on and it's allowed in, in some states um, i mean it's probably allowed everywhere but it shouldn't be because man that's 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 the worst kind of fucking child cruelty i can think of I, they, and they talk i heard one story where one woman was talking about my child, she she can do what she wants to. She has a choice to not do this, or she doesn't want to do it. She's free to do whatever she wants. I'm like, she's fucking four years old. She's <laughs> no gonna do whatever shit. you tell her to do. She's gonna do whatever you want her to do to please yeah. you. This child can't even think no for shit. herself. I mean, you know, this child just barely got through shitting on herself. You think she's gonna be I would, able to make I would, have, I would have said, bitch, she can't even fucking spell choice. What the fuck are you talking? About? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> crying out loud that's your fucking kid <laughs> you know? oh it's so sick man looking at these kids i'm sorry it's so sick looking at these kids dressed up like porn stars man i mean they got all that makeup on it is, it, it is it's disgusting i mean it truly yeah, is it's disgusting. repugnant man I, I really i don't like to judge people and i like to say let them do their things but i don't either when it comes to when it comes to children uh, and mm-hmm. putting them in, in that kind of position where they can't think for themselves and you're doing yeah. this because you're living vicariously through them Sick right. man, it's sick. I don't even know how people like put up with this shit. They had a, they had a, uh, t- a reality TV show about that. I'm like, you know what? Don't encourage this shit. You know? No, don't. No, this, it's this uh, yeah. They they had one on uh, HBO uh, talking about it, and uh, I forget what the name of the show is, but it, it was really hard for me to watch. I was like, man, this this is fucked up, and I don't even like watching it because you know there there's some interest in here. I just looking at it, it, it makes me just wish that you know it would just disappear, go away. I'm like, you know, if you're gonna do that, fucking. Get, don't have kids. Fucking get, get a dog, all right? Get a dog and, and dress him up as a goddamn detective and, and anything else. <laughs> you, want. you know, just come on, man. These kids, kids are going to have to grow up and deal with that shit when they get older. And their minds are already going to be fucking warped as it is, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel I feel bad for those kids. It's like those kids never had a chance, you know? <laughs> just, yeah, just thrown into it. They're trying to please their parents, yeah. man. That's that's what they're doing. They're going to do anything at that age to please oh, yeah. their mama and, and – and, they want to. They want you to be happy. And they want you to be proud of them. Except you're not doing anything that you're proud of. But then because you're doing that for yourself, <laughs> you no, know. I mean, these parents are out there. So it is a very. I think it's a very selfish thing, man. To not no, consider it is. your, it your is, kid period. that way. Yeah, it, it goes beyond that. It, it, it's it's kind of, kind of morbid, but you know, uh, at least that's what I think. I mean, I I don't know what what kind of satisfaction that you need to fulfill within yourself to do that to. To your fucking kid, you know. Yeah, and I'm looking uh, at this poor kid, Fal- Falcon Heen, man, the guy that uh, the kid of the, the balloon boy, and I'm just mm-hmm. thinking, you know, this poor kid was the pawn in a big hoax. I mean, they, oh yeah. They, and now they're talking about putting this kid, taking him away from his parents, and that's even t- more. That's even worse. I'm not. I don't yeah. even know. I, I don't want to judge this guy as a bad parent, and I'm sure he right. loves his kid, but to disrupt the family where they even have the threat of having this kid being taken away into protective custody and. Yeah. I'm thinking like, you know, they're talking about putting them in a safe house now. And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. you know, maybe it is safer. Put them in a smart house while you're at it because this dumb motherfucker doesn't know what he's doing. Right. But I'm thinking that's that's even sad that the family has to be broken up over some dumb mm-hmm. shit like this because somebody wants to be famous. Right. And now the people are putting these families into these TV shows and the kids are involved. And sometimes these kids don't even want to be there. And a lot of kids who are who are who are kid actors, they know the difference between fantasy and reality they know that they're acting in a movie but these kids it's blurred because they don't it's they don't know where the reality be- ends and begins with this it's confusing for a child man mm-hmm. yeah so, no it's, it's true man so we're making but, jokes you know, but we'll, it's sad we'll, you know we'll wait and see yeah well, well well as far as yeah the balloon boy goes uh well hopefully you know ho- hopefully he'll he'll get out of this unscathed and you know and and hopefully his dad will learn a fucking valuable lesson and, and don't be such a fucking idiot. I know. But, uh, it, it makes me think. It makes me think that kid probably shut the door. And they didn't know. Like nobody knows this, but the kid shut the door and tried to talk with his family. Like you dumb sons of bitches. You, <laughs> you stupid yeah. motherfucker. Put me in the middle of this shit. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm six. Goddamn it. No shit. <laughs> I was playing with my goddamn transformer yeah. toys, <laughs> trying to be Optimus Prime, and you fucking, yeah. you fucking my life up. <laughs> you telling me to go play in the fucking attic and shit? You know, go, go, go hide in the basement. You know, let's play, let's play hide and seek. I ain't come out for fucking six hours. You telling me? Trying to, my fucking balloon is up in the air. You got me sitting up there hiding like we playing a game. Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, throw up on Larry King on you. <laughs> <laughs> But Choke anyway, man. The fucking balloon. <laughs> yeah, I'll put you on a balloon. Put that you like that, <laughs> motherfucker. But make a balloon out of your head. Let you float up in there. Uh, but all right, man. So I know we trying to get out of here. I got. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you. You got things to do like sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny because I caught my second win. We already went over an hour, but I, I did, there is something that I wanted to play for you last week because I just think mm-hmm. it's funny, and it play is. It. Yeah, it, it. Hold on, let me. I gotta take my my earphones out for this, but it is uh, our friend, man, uh, the Watchman preacher, at it again. Mm-hmm. Have you? Oh no, really? Yeah, it, no. And it, yeah. It, I and haven't it, seen it. I haven't seen or heard of it. No. Okay, a lot of people have made me aware of this, so it's been going around. But mm-hmm. I just thought it was funny because I don't know why this guy has such a hard on for hard on for us, man. Because we. 
then what he's ranting about now, we had nothing to do with. And he found a way to just come in. And what you know what? Look <clears throat> here. I'll let me go ahead and play play this for you. Yeah. And I'm not gonna play the play. whole thing, but all right. Hold on. Hold on here. I gotta gotta turn up the sound. Testing one two. Testing one two. Okay. Now. This is the Watchman preacher. I don't like. I don't even like saying his name because it's so nasty. But he calls himself "Come on, ass." Yeah, that, that'd that, be his name. That'd be the the name his mother gave him, right? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! This is why this isn't going to work. Maybe I can't do this. Oh damn! Oh well. Oh yeah. This is this is. Wait a minute. I get not. I guess it will. Hold on. <clears throat> you're still coming. Just try over. it. Try it out. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you're still recording. Okay. Well, we'll you know, if this segment doesn't work, we'll take it out. Yeah. Okay. So he calls himself. Come on, ass. And I think that's a nasty name. As nasty as we are, I just don't like calling the guy that. I don't know why. But, hey, you know what? Uh, I, I do like the guy. And he, what no, he does. I, I, I'll, I'll just call him Come Face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, face. Your face. Short and sweet. Yeah. Short and sweet. <laughs> but this guy, I like the rants that he does. I mean, a lot of times I agree with him. Now, he's yeah. come on talking about how they're making a nightmare on Elm street. They're remaking it. And he is pissed about it. And Oh, okay. So yeah, he goes, yeah, he goes on this long rant about uh-huh. the nightmare on Elm street. Now I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm going to play a little bit right. of it in the beginning and then I'll play right. you some other parts. Let's go ahead and look, listen to the beginning of this. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, so he's already losing his mind. <laughs> you know? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't tell. I thought. Uh, <laughs> but okay, let's. I thought. I thought he. I thought he lost his internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> he that's us. how. That's how I get sometimes. <laughs> okay, but when, he, I want, when I'm watching my porn and <laughs> yeah. shit goes wrong. Fuck! 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 But I'm not a happy robot. <laughs> okay, but here's his complaint about uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I just finished watching. Okay, uh, a, a teaser trailer for the upcoming remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street. I said, okay, I'm going to watch this thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I said to myself, okay, the one thing I need all right, it's bad enough that this is Bay Productions Company, the people involved in making the piece of shit Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, remakes, the piece of shit Friday the 13th piece of shit movie that came out earlier this year. It's bad enough it's the Bay Production Company. And I told you motherfuckers out there, I told you fuckers out there, I told you. If you support the garbage, we're going to get more of the garbage. Okay, now see, here's the funny thing. I, I was, I, 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 yeah, I agree I, with I was him. About to say the same thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I agree with him, but as far as the Michael Bay production, uh, wasn't Transformers Part 2 a Michael Bay production as well? Uh, he, I, I have my own thoughts about that Transformers 2 thing, but uh, yeah, he, he, he's, he, he, he'll, because he goes off on Michael Bay in a minute, but he loves Transformers 2 okay. for some reason. But, All right. but see, right here, I'm agreeing with him, and I, I, yeah. I, and I, and I find it entertaining the, the way he goes on with his rants about certain things that mm-hmm. he's very passionate about. I find the mm-hmm. guy very entertaining. I love him, and I'm sitting up here listening to this. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, because somebody told me to look at the video for a certain reason. I, for, I even right. forgot the reason why they told me to come look at it because I was got so involved in his rant. And I'm saying, right. right on, brother. I agree with you on all that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I don't appreciate. I don't know. I don't know how things work. I, I, let me tell you something. Things must be. You know what? How the hell does Wes Craven let the fingers of Michael Bay? and this production company get a hold, okay, of this franchise. What the hell? <laughs> so, all right. Now, this this, <laughs> this, this goes on for uh, another three minutes, and, and it's pretty much this. The, that's the gist of it right there. Right. And I'm listening to this, and I'm thinking, 
Yeah, brother, you know, I'm usually I'm, you're making me laugh because you, the, your way with words is very humorous. And I'm, but right now, I'm really passionate about what you're saying. And then we get to the end of this, and this is mm-hmm. what we hear. Tell it on the mountain. This movie <laughs> should not exist. They're about to shit upon Freddy. They're about to take a big, giant shit on Freddy, and you motherfuckers are letting it happen. Now, this is near the end of the video, and like I said, the whole reason I came here to listen to this video, I haven't even heard yet, so I forgot about it. And right. and, and, uh, and I'm just going to let it play because it's near the part where I'm talking about This is unacceptable. I'm fucking make fun of this, Phil.com, you bunch of fucking assholes. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dickheads. What you did we shitheads? Pieces of shit. <laughs> fuck faces. No, I'm looking at this. And I, like I said, no. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Dried up turds in oh, the goddamn oh, uh, fucking street. Oh, a guy came in. He uh, at first I thought the, the, the hotel attendants were coming in like. Get the uh, fuck out of here. What are you doing? He, oh, came to, he came in to take a shit. Are you recording in the bathroom court? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. The restroom there. <laughs> but, man, I'm watching this, and I'm like, okay, I, 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 I was told to come watch this because somebody said, he, here he goes again, talking about Spill.com. And so we went for like a whole five minutes yeah. where he was talking about Nightmare on Elm Street, and then he comes out of there, and I'm like, what the fuck did we do? Damn. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, really? What, what, why'd you bring you? That, that was out of nowhere. Why'd you bring us into this? Like, like this is our fault. Cause we put a, we, we substituted an American flag for Michael Bay's dick. And all of a sudden we're, we're responsible for all the trouble in Hollywood. I'm fucking make fun of this bill.com. You bunch of fucking assholes. That's all you do. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Why well, ah. you our franchises and shit upon them? That's all you do is laugh about it. As long as you get your fucking hits on your site, right? Bastards. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How is this well, possibly... He's, he's, he's making fault. too much sense, Cord. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Use my headphones. Yeah. Laughs equal hits, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, oh, we have yeah. a website, man. Of course, we're gonna want hits on the site. I mean, you got that right, but what, I hope so. It's like <laughs> yeah. it's like I'm sitting up here agreeing with almost everything you're saying, and all of a sudden you're pissed at us, <laughs> like this is our fault. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! My he needs to he he needs to create a bumper sticker, and, and all it says is "blame spill." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was almost like he was so mad that he just forgot who he was mad at. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just took it out on everybody. Oh, my God. Blame, blame spill.com. Those uh, fucking shitheads. Yeah, he, fucking retard reject. Yeah, with this video. Laughing he's, motherfuckers. Yeah, he's the kind of guy who got mad. At, like, he's the guy that got laid off of, of work, like a job, and he got mad at his boss, and he came back and just shot everybody, people who didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, I didn't fire you. <laughs> That was so funny, man. Oh it, just, it really did catch oh, that, me that, that was great. No, I loved it. No, I mean, I, lo- I, I agree with him on the whole Freddy thing, even though <laughs> even though we kind of took a shit. Well, Fre- Freddy kind of took a shit on himself after, uh, I guess, after the third movie. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, they love, they love New Nightmare and everything. But, I mean, look, the guy uh-huh. has a point. And, I, and uh, like I said, he, he thinks that we have something going against him, like with some ri- rivalry. Or we don't like him. We're making fun of him just to get some cheap laughs. No, I find the guy highly entertaining. And whenever he says something about us, I, I got. I like to comment back because I like. Mm-hmm. I, I just think it's hilarious. But here he has a point. I mean, I'm. I am getting tired of uh, all these horror remakes, man. I mean, they can barely make good horror movies here in America as it is. Original ones. Why we got to go back and like right. ruin the good ones? And I'm sorry, the remakes are just uh, that Friday the Thirteenth remake. I know you liked it, but I was just like, what can you do with this movie that you haven't already done with the Friday the Thirteenth yeah. movies except? Put in all the icons and all the famous kills and all, and and mm-hmm. some of the story and just compact it all into one easily digested movie. But you know what? You know what? Uh, that uh, that Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, I I thought it was okay. I didn't love it. I mean, shit. I I never bought the fucking DVD. Um, but honestly, if you look at all the other Friday the Thirteenths, 
it's the same fucking movie as those other ones, to be honest. Well, I mean, yeah. There's nothing that different. Can I but, can uh, I tell you why though that that bothers me? Because I know like that's the argument that it's mm-hmm. it's uh it's the same movie. They're not doing anything different, but yeah, mm-hmm. that's why. I mean, because they're not doing anything different. They made right. a bad movie, and it's like it's okay when movies are made bad when they're done right. on their own terms. I mean, the originals yeah. that's fine. I mean, those movies have a charm of their own because they right. are bad and because they are kind of dumb, and and mm-hmm. they become a. Uh, they become part of history because of what kind of movies they are. I mean, when when Freddy finds, I mean, I'm sorry, when Jason finds his mask, like in the third film, it's kind of like, well, that was done in a way that was uh, that that felt honest. I mean, I hate to say this about a movie like Friday the Thirteenth, but it felt like okay, they, he just stumbled across it and it happened to catch on, and it felt yeah. it felt genuine. Now, when you have a movie where it's like, oh, we really have to make sure that you know how he found the mask, is like, right. okay. This you're trying too hard for something that right. wasn't that special in the first place, but just happened yeah. to catch on. No, they fucked up. They fucked up with that scene. That 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 scene with him finding the mask. As much as they fucked up with the second Leatherface, where he finds the chainsaw, you know, and uh, they tried to make. I, I don't know what they tried to do during that scene, but that was the most unspectacular, uneventful scene ever as far as uh, a, a killer finding his weapon of choice. You know, I was like, really? He just. It just happens to be there. Just, just happens to be there, and that's it. You know. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Whatever. Yeah. But no, no, he's right. No, the Michael Bay. Uh, I always considered the Michael Bay, uh, at least with them remaking these slasher films. It's like it, it's slasher films for dummies. That's all it is. That's how I look at them. You yeah, know? man. It's it's it, all these reboots they're talking about yeah. and all this kind of. I mean, it's, I, it's I thought leather. I, I, I thought the first Texas Chainsaw. Well, the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I thought that was. I thought that was good. But it doesn't hold up to the original by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's still an entertaining and fun movie to watch. I mean, I can watch it, but I would never hold it in, in as high a regard as the original Texas Chainsaw and, Massacre. Yeah, and, and, and no? that's, yeah. that was my problem. It was like, uh, this. okay, it's interesting to see what, what kind of different take they do with it, but mm-hmm. it's almost like, well, you pointless, look at how clever. Yeah, it's pointless because you look at how clever the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre was because it's, it's more than just a guy – and, and a mask going around chopping people. I mean, that movie yeah. was crafted so well that there was hardly even any blood in it. And mm-hmm. it still was terrifying. And it had this feel to it that almost felt like we were watching actual scenes of mm-hmm. of murder. That that, that yeah. girl in the movie, she felt like she was, and she was in some parts. She hadn't slept in a while, and she felt she was truly terrified. There are certain nuances in that first movie and events and everything that you just can't capture with a remake. And, 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 and look, I'm not going to tell anybody not to do a remake because I'm going to be fair. If this Nightmare on Elm Street is great, I will be the first person to tell you. I'm not going to hold it against it. You know, uh, People should be I mean, able to do what they want to do. But Yeah. I mean, I tell you well, real quick as far as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which uh, I'm still like – in shock and awe is that they they can after that first Tex Chainsaw Massacre film they could never ever in any movie after Tex Chainsaw Massacre and even all the you know the 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 terrible rip off films uh, that that movie spawned they can never capture the uh that family dynamic of just how fucked up that family was oh, uh, yeah no one could ever capture that again for some reason uh it, as far as believing like those those the, the brothers that lived in that house uh were really brothers i mean you, you watch that it's like somebody yeah you're it's like somebody's filming a documentary mm-hmm. and uh that's the great thing about that film and no other film was a- ever able to capture uh that creepiness about that family everything else seemed so force fed to you that it just you didn't buy it. it was bullshit yeah but with the i mean the only thing when i heard they were doing a remake of nightmare on elm street i'm like okay why i mean come on you just came out with freddie vs jason why don't you you know robert england he's more than capable of still doing the freddie character but i think if you actually give him if you give the fucking guy a good script to work with he can play that character you know regardless mm-hmm. he can tone down the jokes he can do all that just have somebody fucking write it well yeah. and uh with this new film like well looking at the trailer I was like, well, you know what? They got the look down, and with with the Freddy character, it looks just like Robert England, and even <laughs> the voice almost sounded like Robert England, and it made me go, why in the fuck didn't you guys just use Robert England for crying out loud? Yeah, he's you know? always wanted to do that role. No, he's, I mean, he's still going around doing that at conventions. He's still playing well, Freddy. <laughs> no, he he's always promoted at least doing like a, a, an origin with Freddy, and you know, and I'm sure he he wouldn't mind if somebody took it, took the material seriously. I mean, because you know, it's like he can he can play that character. I mean, there's 
there's parts in Freddy vs. Jason where he's just there's some moments where he's actually creepy where he's not making jokes. I always think about the scene uh, underwater where mm-hmm. he turns into like the the demon Freddy mm-hmm. and he pops out of that water. I always loved that scene because I'm like, you know what? If they if they took some time to actually write some elaborate scenes in the dream world, that could be really amazing, you know. And that's kind of the only thing I'm not looking forward to this new nightmare all that much. Um but I am kind of curious what they're going to do with the dream world because I, I thought that's something with, with the, the Nightmare films that they never really took advantage of. And I think that was only because of budget reasons. But. Yeah, and I agree with you on that, man, because one of my favorite ones is uh, the one that was written by Frank Darabont where they actually took sort of a fantasy element with it too where it was uh, the Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors, yeah. That's the yeah. greatest fucking Nightmare on Elm Street film ever. I, I think mean. that one's great. I, where I they actually go to try to fight, fight Freddy in his own dimension and in, mm-hmm. in his, own, in his own dream world. Yeah, yeah. in his mm-hmm. own dream world. And I thought, like, wow. It's, you know, it wasn't exactly a terrifying movie, but it was, like, a really good story. And I was like, yeah. man, you know. This- it, was a great, it, was, it was a great idea and a great concept, and it was executed fucking masterfully. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Me. Yeah, no, I love that <laughs> movie, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? I've always been interested uh, and I, I almost hope someday, you know, the the script that um, uh, you heard about this, uh, the uh, script that was written by Peter Jackson. He actually wrote a script for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. No, uh, tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I know very little about it, but he actually wrote a script and, and apparently New Line had the script and they locked it up in their vaults. Uh, and, and I don't know if anybody's actually read it, but uh it, it would have been. I mean, I can only imagine what kind of fucking craziness Peter Jackson had in store for Freddy. You know, as far as doing a, a Nightmare on Elm Street film. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it makes you just think, wow. You know, what was the potential, and why the fuck did New Line hold on to that script? You know, especially after the success with uh, uh, Lord of the Rings. I mean, I fucking pulled that script out and like, hey, you know what? You want to reboot this or do something? Let's have Robert England do this script. You know? Yeah, no, I agree, man. So, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, look, to be fair, if we're looking for that kind of thing, maybe a reboot is 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 good. I mean, look, we don't exactly have the best movies in the Nightmare on Elm Street series. I mean, two is terrible. It's, it's an awful movie. The ones after after three were just mediocre. Uh, I know a lot of people like New Nightmare, but for me, it wasn't that great. And by then, it was too late. And yeah, I uh, I, I yeah. like some ideas in New Nightmare, but yeah, I didn't. As far as yeah, it really it, it could have been a whole lot better. So I'll be fair and say, hey, maybe a new Nightmare on Elm Street series will take it in that direction where we get, do get to see more of the Dream World and get a different take on Freddy. I mean, if, if they do that, then fine. I, I have a feeling that things don't always go that way when people reboot these of kind of. Course. So yeah, because yeah. So looking at the trailer, it it, it looks like a, it looks like a remake of the of the original film. Yeah, and that's that's kind of what I don't want to see. You know. Oh well, so, man. Well, see what happens. Well, yeah. uh, and there's no Johnny Depp. I mean, come on, no Johnny Depp to kill. And no Johnny Depp to kill. Yeah, he's yeah. too. Uh, <laughs> hey, maybe they maybe they could bring him back in CG. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I I guess all that we can say about that is this is unacceptable. I'm fucking make fun of this, Phil.com, you bunch of fucking assholes. That's all you do. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> well, they take our franchises and shit upon them. That's all you do is laugh about it. As long as you get your fucking hits on your site, right? Bastards. <laughs> Bastards, that's all we get. I would have said, I would have said, come on, faces. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, man, I gotta say, uh, yeah, as you can see, man, we agree with you more than you think. And look, don't no hard feelings on this, man. We, as you can see, we like you. I mean, it's it's you just. Uh, I agree. I I agree with everything he said, especially the spill stuff. <laughs> especially that <laughs> we are some bastards and we do care about our site getting some laughs and and you know what you especially true about the part where you say hey, 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 hey. <laughs> i know that's all we do on this goddamn show that's all i do uh, <laughs> it's kind of programmed at me but it's not my fault. bunch of frat boys <laughs> reminds me of my of my uh my friend's dad man when we were little kids and me and him used to just be just laugh about everything, man. His dad used to get pissed off. Like he looked, he'd be driving, looking back in the back seat. Stop all that sniggling. You sound like a bunch of little girls. All that sniggling, sniggling. I'm like sniggling. What the hell is that? We're laughing because you said we're oh sniggling. It's you like look up that word. That's yeah, he's telling us about to awesome laugh, word. and he's talking about sniggling. I'm like, you're not helping, man. <laughs> no, man. Me and uh, me and my buddy. <laughs> 
yeah. And we'd be just wait, we'd be watching like Animal Planet, mm-hmm. and we'd just start laughing at some random <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, and his dad came in the room. He's like, "What the? F- you guys like retarded or something? What the fuck are you laughing? What is so goddamn funny on that channel? What the hell are you watching? Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Pelicans <laughs> flying around. <laughs> when Fly just, pelican. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> I love that. Come on, Pelican. Fly (laughs) Pelican. (laughs) That's awesome, man. But uh, yeah, we sound like we just came from Amsterdam. (laughs) Fly Pelican. That's awesome, man. (laughs) We we had our share of some space cake. (laughs) (laughs) Well, hey, man, I'm very glad. I'm I'm happy that you were patient with my stories of Amsterdam, and I'm looking forward to getting you over here. Trying to get to Tokyo next, man. You know. Oh man, Tokyo, man, dude. Oh, that that is one of my dream places. That I would fucking love to go is Tokyo. So Tokyo, I know, uh, I know. We'll see if we let's can make, make it happen. happen. Make it happen, yes. Let's make it happen. Oh, oh, oh I can't yell it. Oh, rock, 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 oh, rock, 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 I wonder, what, I wonder what Come On As is thinking right now listening to this part of the podcast. <laughs> he gets, he's probably got steam coming out of his ears right now. What the this is f- fucking you, dopey ass songs. <laughs> you, you sit up there and you listen to those dopey ass songs and you laugh. You just, hey, 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 bastards. <laughs> you, play your, you play your stupid music. <laughs> I like one video where he was talking about us and he was, and he uh-huh. was mad at us and he was like, what, what did he say? Uh, these bastards almost got me kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> when he put, <laughs> it's like we got you almost kicked off of YouTube. We didn't do shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, we, we, what a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck do we do? Everything oh, no. is our fault all the time. Like yeah. he ain't done shit. <laughs> I would, no, I would but, and, and, like he's talking about us acting like uh, frat boys, but then he comes and he's like, I will never stop cursing. I will never stop coming raw, and if you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> like, what's different? Well, how's that different from what we do? Yeah, right? No shit. Hey, what if we? What if we do like it? What, what are the consequences then? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Apparently, I do love it. I, I love it, man. Keep doing what do I win? it. <laughs> yeah. Please make more videos where you say "fuck you." I love it. Yes. Speaking of "fuck you," it's time for "fuck your thoughts," where we fuck yes. the thoughts of. All the emailers who send us questions. Mm-hmm. See, I, I'm going to fuck somebody up real bad. They come in with like, what's your favorite song? So I'm getting tired of that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to try and get some people that we have not got before. Raiders. Let's see. Let's see. Here's a guy. All right. Oh, okay. See, this is what I'm fucking talking about, man. Oh, this is, no. This is Zach. L- look at this. Dude's yeah. begging for his thoughts to Damn. get fucked. He's like, please, pretty fucking please, motherfucking fuck my thought to the white fucking bone. Fuck me. And he comes in with, what's your favorite movie? I'm like, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hurt somebody, man. I'm going to find these people and go to their goddamn houses. I'm telling Ernest you. Go- Ernest goes to camp. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> please, that's people. Better than dark, that's better than The Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> These fuckers out here, man. <laughs> okay, people, let's for every while. every slasher movie made by Michael Bay's production team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every Platinum Dunes horror every, film. That's every horror shit. remake by by Michael yeah. Bay. That's better than that original bullshit. In Transformers Two. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shit. Let's see. What we get here. Man. I got one. Oh, I got one. You got. Oh, please, by all means, yeah, please. Yes. All right. Here we go, Corey. I got a good one here too, actually. Good evening. <laughs> hey guys, uh, where the wild things are is going through a wicked backlash right now, and audiences seem to be split on their opinions of the movie. I personally did not care for the movie. Uh, what was the last movie you guys saw that went through a similar gigantic backlash, yet you really liked it? P.S. I would love to hear co-host's thoughts on where are the wild, what, wait, where the wild things are, if he has seen it. Okay. Yes. Well, what do uh, you know? What the last movie is for that was that was that was like that for us? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. 
You what did, was I thought you said you just. That's what you said. Mm-hmm. No, I I'm, you just said asking, yes. I'm just asking. I'm just asking the. I'm just. I'm just reading the goddamn question. Okay, <laughs> no. I think the last I'm trying, movie. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think right now of, of where, you know, what movie came out where there was a big backlash and. Well, there was a big backlash. I don't know if you can call it back backlash, but yeah. there, there, for us, I guess where audiences are split in the middle well, for the film. Audiences are split, and people on the site were mm-hmm. expecting us to come out and love the movie, and then mm-hmm. when we didn't. They they just they they turned against us. And the last Damn. movie that I can think of that was like that, I believe, was uh, Watchmen. Yeah, you're right. Yep, you're right. I, well, I loved it. I was the only motherfucker who loved it. Come on, ass. I'm I'm the only motherfucker who loved that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, he, he's gonna make a video now. You you, you got him going. Oh shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what what we're experiencing with where the wild things are is that a lot of people saw the trailer and like myself, a lot of people want to love this movie. And when we came out and said that, not that it was bad. Not that we yeah. hated it. We actually said the movie's good. It's just not great. And then we pointed out what was wrong with it. People took our criticism of what pointing out what we thought was wrong with the movie just to make it an all right movie. They took that as right. we don't like the movie or we don't understand yeah. the movie or we're not. We, yeah, we, we, we're jaded because we don't. What was it? Because it's a hipster film and we don't like hipster movies. And it's just like, man, look, I, you know, we gave it a matinee. We all gave yeah. the movie a matinee. It's not bad. I mean, we can't help yeah. if we thought that the movie was boring in some parts. And furthermore, I, I think I'm speaking for everybody when I say this. Nobody's telling you that you cannot love the movie yourself right no uh yeah you're right because i i noticed you're you, yeah when you guys put out the review yeah you you did get a backlash and uh yeah and i don't see why certain people will get so worked up but then again you know i i thought as far as the movie itself but I, uh, i'm not gonna bore anyone with my review but um no please i i thought i th- i thought it was o- i thought it was okay you know <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh there was nothing uh, about that kid that really made me really feel for him at all uh, so, I mean, when, when he's, you know, when he's pissed off and he's upset, I, I get that. Okay. And I, I understand that. Yeah. He lost his dad. You know, he has all these reasons and then he visits this fantasy world and, you know, there are these characters that are, are, are some kind of, uh, you know, a representation of his feelings. Uh, and, and some of the, and, you know, there's a one character reflecting uh, that's reflective of his sister. I, I get that. And I understand where all that's coming from, but as a film, as a whole, it didn't really do much for me. I, I mean, I, 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 yeah, sure. I sympathize with the kids sometimes, but other times I was kind of annoyed by him. You know, there was nothing really drawing me to really like this kid to begin with. And uh, I thought that's where the, 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 the movie kind of failed, at least on me. Mm-hmm. Um, now it was a beautiful movie to look at. The soundtrack was amazing. I want, I want to I, I own the soundtrack, but at, I mean, after watching the film, I was like, all right, that was, that was good, but you know what? I kind of forgot about it as as the night went on, and uh, I didn't think too much of it. So to me, it didn't have a, a lasting effect on me like it did with some people, you know. And and no, I never I I I read I read that book or it was read to me a long time ago, and I barely remembered it because it was only about five pages, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when it, when I took a look at the uh, at the book again recently, I was like, wow, what is it about this book? that seems to hit me the, the message seems to hit me a lot more reading the book than it did in the movie you know i was trying to figure that out um but uh okay. yeah as far as the movie it just didn't do much for me i mean it, like i said it, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful to look at uh the performances are great even though there's times when <laughs> the, the main character the main beast uh, when he was off screen and yelling to look for that kid, I was like, man, what the fuck is Tony Soprano doing? <laughs> just fucking running around looking for this kid. He's about to fuck up this kid. This movie's taking a whole different tone. What the hell? Oh, yeah, you thought, mind, you, you thought you thought he was going to whack Tony that kid. Tony Soprano is looking to fucking put some holes in this kid. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But uh, other than that, I mean, yeah, it, it, did, it didn't do that much for me. So um, I, I, I would give it a, a matinee. I have to agree with you guys. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny because I see, again, uh, I think it's because we knew people were going to love the movie so much that just oh, the, yeah. the flaws kind of stuck out to us. I mean, the things that were obvious about it were kind of obvious in the trailer. I mean, the music is great. 
the the right. creature effects we we all agreed were were, were fantastic. Uh, I love the casting of the characters. I love the approach mm-hmm. that Spike Jones took. Like I said, my only yeah. complaint is that the movie was too long, and mm-hmm. I thought it could have been a little more fun. I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of people took it as being shallow, and that we thought that we wanted this to just be a uh, just a flat out kids film. But mm-hmm. man, it it really did to me. It was just a little. That those those boring parts in there were because the movie just could have just lived, for me just been a little bit more fun. I just like I don't want yeah. anything that deep with this movie because the book isn't mm-hmm. like isn't that deep. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm asking for. And I had a different sense of the book than I did with the uh, with the movie, and that's the that's the only thing. I mean, I I saw it as something completely different, and a lot of people also kind of upset that like I love the way people just kind of take everything and make one big blanket statement out of it without looking at the right. details. So they, like they say, oh, you gave uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs I uh, know. full price, but you give this a matinee. It's like they're two different movies, man. Right. It, there's a right. different criteria for everything. You don't make a blanket criticism for everything. And yet, Sonny with a chance, uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs was a, a more entertaining movie than this. And I, and I did not hate Where the Wild Things Are. I yeah. thought it was a good film. I th- and I think mm-hmm. Spike Jones took the right approach. I just thought like it was a few misguided steps there. So right, no, I, I agree. I agree. I mean, like I said, I mean, it was it, it, it definitely has some great, great you know moments to look at, but the overall effect just uh, I guess what what they wanted for me to feel in that you know, while watching that film, I just didn't get you know it it, it didn't hit me like mm-hmm. it it it, you know, it didn't strike a chord in me like it did with some other people. You know, yeah. So uh, yeah, exactly. But, so, you know, that's 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 my opinion. And it don't mean shit. So there you have it. And so. that's exactly what we're saying, people. It's all opinions. I mean, just because mm-hmm. we didn't give it something that you wanted us to, doesn't mean that you cannot go and enjoy it. So yeah. no, and I, I've recommended I, I've recommended that movie to people. It's like you know what, if you enjoyed that book, there's a good chance you're gonna enjoy that movie. You know, it's like, and I, I, but I did say I don't think it's for everyone. But I think the, the 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 people who watch and enjoy it are really gonna get something out of it. As to where you know, if if you don't really give a shit about the book and you just want to see a decent movie, maybe you'll think it's okay. But with me, it it just didn't just didn't hit a chord with me. So yeah, no, and there was one other movie where people said it was gonna be great, and we didn't think so. I, we've done it a couple of times. I can't remember what it is, but we've done it a couple yeah. of times. So people enjoy it. Don't you know, nobody's telling you to listen to us, and we're not telling you to listen no. to us either. <laughs> no. We do this to get our opinions oh. out there and have fun. So fuck yeah. it, you know. Yeah. If it ruin your day, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, here's a it's question. It's not my problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go fucking live your life. Don't tell me about it. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> 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 Gotta love your attitude, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here is an email from Hank Kleinberg who says, uh, let's see, a week or two ago, Corey and Carla mentioned The hun- Hunchback of, of Notre Dame. Uh, you guys noted that it kept going between dark, mature, and deep, and lighthearted and goofy with those goddamn gargoyles. Well, if you d- and he says it's his favorite movies, but if he hates those gargoyles, I'm like, why is this your favorite movie? Anyway, <clears throat> a problem that I also had with the movie. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's part of why he hated the movie, because of the gargoyles. So he says, here's a question. How do you feel about movies that have big contrast in mood? And are there any cases in particular that you really loved or hated that? Thanks for the response. Love the show. And I hope my thoughts have a wonderful time getting fucked by you guys. And we're going to fuck this thought well right here because that's a good question. There are examples of movies that can change tone and be effective. And then there are movies that can change tone and it's just lazy or it's, it, it mm-hmm. feels like it's done by uh, a person who's an inexperienced writer or they just didn't think about it. Uh, we saw a movie recently that changed tones mm-hmm. and it wasn't for the best and that was Law Abiding Citizen. Oh, really? It, yeah, that movie started I, I out... I didn't see that. Well, it started out kind of serious. I mean, it started out with, a, with sort of a message about the judicial system and the flaws with it. It started mm-hmm. out about what is justice. It started out about uh, the ambigu- the, the, ambig- the amb- ambiguity between how far a man will go to seek justice and at what point does he become a villain and become mm-hmm. the thing that he actually was going up against. I mean, it started out with, the, with some heavy themes. I mean, maybe they weren't meaning to, but that's kind of what you felt. And right. near the end of the like almost halfway through, it turns into a ridiculous supervillain film. And it's like, all right, really? you, you really had something going before, and that was cool. And then uh, you just kind of screwed that. But then there's some movies where they start out as one thing and then they end up another and it can catch you by surprise. And it's a very it's very effective. Catch you by surprise in a good way. One movie for me like that is Audition. 
You know, we right, mentioned which, this movie several times, but that is the, one of the strongest mm-hmm. contrasts in the films I've ever seen that actually worked. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like we, we, we did kind of answer this question before. Um, but yeah, audition. Um, I, 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 still, I always like saying um, From Dust Till Dawn. Only because uh, if you had no clue about that movie, you know, walking in, it starts off with this this, this great, you know, fucked up uh, road adventure with these two serial killers, I guess, and, uh, mm-hmm. or, or uh, uh, I guess, well, one of them was a, a, a just a fucking crazy wacko, and and the other guy, you know, had his head head on his shoulders, and he was just a criminal. Um, and as soon as it went, you know, as soon as they they ended up going to the uh, the, the titty bar. Uh, that's where you know it turned into a, a straight out B horror film. Uh, I think it'd be interesting for somebody to see that movie not knowing. You know, it, I think that's kind of part of the fun. But if I don't know if, if they made it, if it was a little bit better executed, I think that would have been a great, a, a, be, a better film, I guess I should say. Oh yeah, but, yeah, uh, and I, and I, 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 agree I, I love I love that they did that only because I'm like you know this is a great idea only if it was executed a little bit better. You know, it could have been really great, but. Yeah, and uh, I, I agree with you on that. And uh, oh, yeah. the reason why I mentioned audition is because the movie starts out like a romantic comedy, and if, if you and it caught us off guard because it's from Japan, right? And if you don't, we went in not knowing what the movie was about at all, and it starts out like a, a romantic comedy, and and then it ends up being a very creepy uh, horror film. I mean, it becomes a fucking brutal horror, horror oh, film. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so lighthearted at first, and then it starts getting just terrifyingly uh, yeah. uh, horrific. And uh, when I was watching it, we, Leon and I looked at each other and we were like, what the fuck just happened? It's yeah. like, is this the same movie? <laughs> but we were, <laughs> but we were drawn in so deep into it because we wanted to know where this was going to go. So yeah, it's uh, that, mm-hmm. that's one of the, that's one of those really effective oh, movies man. that changes tone. I, I, I love that. I love that movie. That movie is like somebody pulling the fucking rug from out under you and there's a, a bed full of, Nails and fucking broken glass just waiting oh, to hit you, and you're like, yeah, "Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, stop!" <laughs> yeah, no, you fall <laughs> face first into it. Yeah. Uh, no, here's another thing. Uh, that's a it's an old movie that kind of changes tone, and it's an Alfred Hitchcock movie that did it very well. It's called Shadow of a Doubt. It starts out like a kind of a fun family comedy, very lighthearted in the way those movies were in that time. I think the movie was made uh, 19. 40 some 1930 something I can't really remember the date on it but it's what, what was it what was it called again it's it's called uh, shadow of a doubt mm-hmm. and it's one of my favorite hitchcock movies and it it deals with this this family that uh the, i mean they're they're a wholesome family and they and and like i said when you sit on the family the movie's uh the movie's very lighthearted but mm-hmm. Then that that came, that came out in 1943. Okay, I've never seen this. You should see it because it's it's funny. I mean, it's a funny family comedy, and then it turned sinister when Joseph Cotton, who's an actor in a few uh, Hitchcock movies, and also uh, a couple, I think he was in a uh, Orson Welles film. Uh, anyway, cool actor. Uh, he shows up, and the movie turns sinister because he, this guy's bringing in a very dark secret, and it turns mm-hmm. it not only the, it turns very creepy because you begin to question when. At for the time that this movie was made, they 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 kind of cross over the lines of how appropriate is it that this guy who's coming into town is close with his uh, I think it's his 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 niece. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, you wonder like how like it, it gets kind of creepy how into her he is, and then yeah. he, he just starts saying things at, at inappropriate times, and it becomes very uncomfortable. And it's a good movie; you should check that out, man. I think especially I you, I think you'd like it. But uh, here uh-huh. we'll read. We'll read, depending on how this goes, we'll read one more, two more. Here, here's a okay. good question from uh, Phil. Mm-hmm. And Phil, it, it, she's doing, she has a very oh, unique. Oh, Phil. Phil, yeah. The, okay, awesome. Yeah, the great yeah. artist. Yeah, she's great. And you should check, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out her work, you should go ch- uh, go to her page and uh, see her stuff, which blows me away. Yeah, she, she spells her name F-E-A-L, Phil, so. So, yeah, you should check her out. Now, she heard us last week, or at least heard me going crazy because uh, I was upset about some of the questions that were coming over. And she took a unique uh, approach to a- asking us a few questions here. And she says, okay. uh, she says, I have, during the years, written a few fun or weird and short questions on another website in the form of polls that became popular. 
these are the kid friendly ones the nasty ones are here and she gives us a website i'd love to hear the nasty ones but uh-huh. here here's her uh here's her questions and she says on <laughs> the name of her email is in your lack of questions to rape so we're gonna rape <laughs> your mind phil she's kind of cute too i wouldn't mind raping her mind let's see Damn, she said, i said her mind not her body jesus i'd like to make hey her, her mind has feelings too you i'd know? like to make love to her body but rape her mind what you say mind my- is, isn't a piece of chicken <laughs> <laughs> come on Man, there's a video. Now, I want to keep this in mind before we answer this. I just thought about it. There's a video of these kids just dirty dancing, and the parents think it's hilarious. And we got to talk about this next <laughs> week. And it's, it's so right. sad. I forgot, but I don't want to do it now because uh, we right, can't right. watch the videos. But anyway, I got, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Here we, we uh, here go. Here's the uh, list of questions. Uh, when watching porn, do you enjoy or hate when the when they film the actors' faces? Uh. Depends. Well, uh, as far as the guys, yes. Uh, I don't need to see any guy. I don't need to see a close up of his ass. None of that. I, I, I'm more interested in the girl, her her O faces, um, <laughs> her body movement, the the positioning of the camera underneath the uh, underneath her to where you see uh, uh, <laughs> plenty of movement from her chest area, yeah, including I- her breast her breastuses. And uh, the gyration of her booty cheeks uh, <laughs> as, uh, you know, the deed is being done. Yeah, I want, yes. I want a point of view where it's inside of her body. You know, I'm tired of looking at bodies uh, on the outside. Uh, I want. Man, well, uh, you know what? Then you need to go fucking rent some hench, fucking uh, hencha fucking films, the animated hencha films. Because I want it to be like that movie, up, Fantastic man. Voyage, where they go inside the body of a man. I want that kind of porn where they go. Oh, you get to see them journey God. inside the body of a woman when she's having sex. No, for me, uh, yeah, I like seeing the faces. I like seeing both faces because I like knowing that there's a couple there that it seems like people having sex. I don't like any disembodied thing having sex with another. I, I, those, those aren't people, Corey. Those are porn stars. I'm sorry. Right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing the, the faces of the actors, the, the non-people. <laughs> yeah, actors. I do. Really? <laughs> no, no, no. I, yeah, what do you call them? Yeah, the props. On. On. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I like seeing the faces. Yeah, I love yeah. seeing the faces. So, uh, back in school, really? you were a and she puts here uh, a yano a yano nerd. I don't know what yano means. Yano nerd, bully, whatever. Uh, Back in school, I was a combination of uh, all those. I kind of grew out of my nerdiness as I got older, so I was able to encompass a lot of worlds there. What? What's going on? I'm reading another. Hello? Qu- uh, hello? Oh, was that a question? That no, was I a question. Read. Back in school, that's the. There's that's, a list of questions here. I'm going down a list. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Now, now repeat that to me again. Back in school, you were a, and then she puts in quote. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, parentheses, okay. a Yano nerd, bully, or whatever. Well, I was a, a bully. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. You know, you know, no, no, no. Not that I ever went to school, but, you know, I had to go to school sometimes. To, they're always working on me and stuff. Um, <laughs> I, I go in for science experiments. Um, <laughs> but when I started going to school, uh, I, I went through a very shy phase. Then I went through a in, – in high school – I ended up in middle school and high school. I ended up going through a somewhat bully phase, only to end up back in a shy phase in a closed off phase. And all that was in a matter and, of five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and, and then and then it, it came back to being op- an open minded phase. Uh, How's that? Open minded phase. What the hell? <laughs> phase. Oh, phase. phase. <laughs> oh, open minded phase. So let's see here. What crime assaults would you commit if there were no kind of punishment for it? I know exactly what I would do. I would go. What kind out, of crime? Yeah. What I would, would be. Do? I would be a vigilante. I would be like the Punisher. I would go out. A and, vigilante. Yeah, I would go out and kill the worst criminals if I could get away with it. <laughs> You'd be the Punisher. I'd be the Punisher. You'd run around with a fucking target on your chest. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Um. N- no, I. I. I would be a. Uh, I would be a porn star. Yes. That's not illegal. Oh, it's not? No. Oh. <laughs> no, um let's see, what would I do? Uh yeah, a vigilante would be cool. Um also uh let me see, a uh a drug dealer. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Okay, yeah, a drug dealer. There you yeah, go. it's all yeah, in the business they, of making they, money. They live the yeah. life, yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, I also think I would like uh, go around and beat the shit out of rich people and take their shit, like the the real foul, greedy ones. Well, then I'd have to stop you. 
How would you have to stop me? Crime. You're committing crime on the innocent. No, they're not innocent. They rip people off. That's no, they don't. Why? Because they know how to make money. Because they no, went to school and learned how the, to make money. No, they... I'm talking about like the bankers who put us in this in in, in this position, the, the this financial situation that we have now. Well, what position did a banker do to you? He's only he's only going to work I'll just like you. Him, no, hell no. I'm not going to even get into it. Just let me do my <laughs> thing, all right? I'm the vigilante here. Let me go and do my do my justice, <laughs> my brand of justice. justice. Okay. Which which larger animal would you rather kill or become extinct? Bugs don't count. I guess. Yeah. What kind of animal would we like to kill off? I w I I would like to kill off nothing because I think everything is important to the cycle of life. Um. I will. I will say. Uh, uh, mosh uh, mosquitoes and sharks. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, you, I like the way you left me to the hippie answer. I believe in every. I think everything should live. All God's creatures yeah. should exist. And, and you want to be a vigilante? Right. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> sharks don't know what they're doing. Sharks is doing what they do. I don't have to kill sharks. No, no. Sharks know exactly what they're doing. You fuck. You fucking hanging out on their turf, and they fucking they fuck you. They eat your ass and spit you out, or they leave. They leave half of you around so 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 your friends can find out not to be hey, fucking around in their they waters. gotta eat Man, shit, fuck it hey, they, they don't eat people they yeah, fucking they they, they, they eat people they, they, fucking they around fucking in their make, waters man they laugh at people that's what they do don't you ever see whenever they're attacking they fucking <laughs> they get that big grin on their face their early <laughs> <whites>. <laughs> yes. right before they drive <laughs> can't you imagine that Speaker laugh coming out yeah right before they eat somebody <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh let's see uh what is the worst way to go shark attack a laughing shark attack. No, the worst way to go, I think, is to be burned alive, man. Mm, uh, I think being uh, torn apart by zombies would be the worst. Way to go. <laughs> oh, being yeah. talking about being a uh, uh, the worst uh, torn apart and the worst way to go. I think about yeah. how people used to punish uh, uh, the criminals or uh, when they perceived used to get criminals quartered. back in the day, drawn and quartered, where they yeah. they tie people's limbs up and uh, mm -hmm. they tie your legs and arms up, and they're attached to four horses, and then they whip the horses, oh, yeah. and the horses go in their separate directions and pull your ass apart. How yeah. the fuck could anybody do that, man? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Uh, e e either that or having your 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 penis getting eaten off by rats. That that would suck, man. That is so funny to me. They. Uh, Rudy Ray Moore had a video where he, where he was talking. Do you remember that video Rudy Ray Moore had? That's exactly where, what I'm talking about. Where he was laughing about it. And there's a Rudy Ray Moore people who was Dolomite. If you've listened to the show, you know we love this character Dolomite. And Rudy Ray Moore is the actor. And he was talking. He was uh, on a a tape where they were uh, doing a little interview with him. He was talking about his movie, The Human Tornado, where he, in his words, he was laughing. He's like, I, I once had a rat eat a man's nuts off <laughs> and there's a scene where he has this guy tied up and there's these rats down there on his crotch and you see blood in the on like on the guy's boxers and the yeah. and the rats are looking anywhere but at his crotch the rats yeah. are just looking it's around like, it's like the rats are the rats are running the in the opposite direction of the yeah. guy's nuts and but he puts those noises the in table, there. he starts screaming oh god oh. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and then he put on those noises <laughs> Exactly. And also, I think the, I think that was Rudy Ray Moore doing. I think he did all his sound effects films. It's like, <laughs> and those rats are like fucking just sniffing the air. Like, <laughs> hey, okay. speaking of Rudy Ray's uh, voice dubbing uh, or, or his special effects, I always loved yeah. the clip where he runs in, he walks in on that lady on the toilet taking a shit and you you know it's Rudy Ray Moore's voice because it sounds like him trying to be a woman He's like, oh yeah this is the lady <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a there's a part in the movie where one of the characters in the film walks in. He he has to pee so bad that he yes. he runs into the ladies' room and yeah. I, he and he dubs both both parts actually because yeah. there's a part where he walks in. They had this big lady sitting on there on the toilet taking a shit. This big black woman and she starts beating with a person. You're right. It's Rudy Ray Moore's voice. How does it go? It's the ladies. Get this is the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out of here! And, but then they have another part where the guy, like, he starts, he starts pissing in the sink, and Rudy Ray Moore dubbed that part because you, you could hear it, like, the guy's mouth isn't moving, but you hear, well, "Why do you think this is far?" <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Why do you think this is far? <laughs> this is this big fat lady? This big fat black chicken, the <laughs> fucking sitting in the toilet. <laughs> 
It's like the size of a of a, of a fucking broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Genius. All right. Here's our uh, last you know question. Huh? Uh, I was, I was, oh, are you, we still reading? We got uh, one more. We got one more. Okay, cool. She These says, are great questions, by the way. No, they are. It's a lot of fun. She says, would you rather work together with assholes or work cleaning assholes? And she says that's understood the metaphor. Yeah, we get it. So what she means, would you rather work with people who are just shitty people to work for or would you work actually cleaning people's assholes? And that's the easy one. I would rather work with people who are assholes and having to clean assholes. I, I don't want to clean people's asses all day. Um, yeah, I, I agree to agree with you, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? You know what you're gonna say. Uh, she she threw a hum humdinger at us. <laughs> I, I think the really bad answer for this is uh, uh, people who work with assholes cleaning their assholes. Because <laughs> I mean, well, think hey, about Corey, it. Did, didn't you actually have to do that at some point? Well, that's why I'm thinking about it. My dad, before he died, I like I had to like I had to wipe his ass, and he was like he he the whole time he was like. Tanya, you're not doing it right. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jesus, I'm, I'm cleaning an asshole of an asshole. You know? They actually have people for that job. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? A Where's a nurse? See, somebody's making a career out of that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my father, God bless his soul. But, you know, I never had to do that before. So I have much respect for people that have to clean assholes of people while those people are yelling at you. Nah. I never uh, had to go. By the way, I never had to go that deep with my dad. But I'm sure if I did, yeah, that, it would be that job. You're not doing that right. God damn it. Don't you know anything? Uh, Dig that, deep. That, go in there. That that didn't sound too good the first time. Don't be it. afraid of it, son. <laughs> I didn't have to. You didn't have to go in deep with your dad. Oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Hey, right. you know what? I was, just, I was just thinking back to the other question uh, where you, you your that? answer was being a vigilante as far as doing something illegal. Mm -hmm. I I just came up with a with an honest answer. What? A a, a nude a nude clown. <laughs> That's exactly what I'd want to do. I don't know why, but it's just something you just don't see every day. It would be kind of cool. Technically, you know? that could be legal in certain parts of the country. What in Amsterdam? The, well, in this country, telling? yeah, hell yeah, here, here well, in Amsterdam, like, anything point goes. Point me in the fucking direction, I'm there. No, hey, there's nudist got colonies. My... I mean, I'm sure like people would love to have a happy clown walking around nudist colony, getting people all, they better. getting joy. They so, fucking so better. technically, not illegal. So you can still do that. So your answer is fucked right, up. Well, how about uh, how about a uh, uh, nude clown while uh, while while doing coke all day? How's that? Well, in Amsterdam, legal, I think you right? could do that. Uh, you know, I don't know. You you can. Fuck! How about now? See, right, your well, answer should have been a, a nude clown at a, at a at a kindergarten school. Oh, that's just sick! <laughs> what, kind of show, what kind of show are we doing here? Come on, Corey. God damn, you need to tone that shit down. Yeah, after all we said tonight, all of a sudden, oh, all that's, of that's a just sudden, that out wrong. Well, damn, man, if you talking to me like that, I don't think I feel like being in, a, in your company anymore. <laughs> I don't think I like your tone. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think I think nude clowns around kids no, is hilarious. It's too late. Hilarious. You, you drain the energy from me, my friend. <laughs> oh, I, my actually, God. I'm tired. I'm getting out of here. It, we, you know, uh, man, you we did it. it. Fuck, man, we did it again. What? What do we do? Sat up here and said we are not going to go two hours and what? Do we, it's been two hours and thirty minutes, man. Holy shit! <laughs> How does this hey, happen? Man. When you're having a good time, you're having a good time. No, nah, I, I gotta say, I, be, I I woke up like just dragging myself down here to the, to do this podcast, and now when I when I start doing, it, I was like, shit, this is just like being back at home. I'm having a great time. So, yeah, except you're not at home, and I'm here, and <laughs> you're not having a great time. I'm like the only one. Not much to do. But so. we went on so long. I finally looked up and I said. The, well, here the sun is coming up. I'm like, how fucking long have we gone? I looked down. I was like, holy jumping jackfish. <laughs> two and a half hours, man. So, mm -hmm. yeah, well, I am going to Damn. go ahead and get my ass on out of here, man. All right. Well, hey, I, I just came up with <laughs> You sound another, so disappointed. Uh, <laughs> another what? I just came, I, I just came up with uh, something else illegal. What? All right, how about a nude clown <laughs> doing... An old lady in a wheelchair and having her kid roll us around okay. in front of the church. Okay, now you're getting crazy. Right? <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs> Why you clean Not her that. ass? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm going to be a vigilante too. Yeah, I think that'll be easier, man. <laughs> you know, that's a much simpler lifestyle instead of this, <laughs> this old woman wheelchair sex having clown that you plan on being. <laughs> I think I think even then you would set the, the point where it would be illegal. I think it would be legal until you start doing it. People would be like, no, we can't let this happen no more. Fuck this. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, about, what about me? Come on as a naked clown, Michael Bay and his dick flag. And Get shark. To the Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get to the 